It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. Hey, you really didn't have to start with the singing. That, yo, that really unnecessary. Yo, DPS Podcast episode 15. Yo, sorry we missed last week, man, but um, life got in the way in multiple ways. It was pretty crazy. Work was killing us both, and we was looking at each other like, bro, um, can we like skip this podcast this week? Cause you know, it's like, you know, um, kind of, kind of rough out here. And I said, I guess we can do that because we're going to give these people what they've been missing on Christmas Eve. So, you know, before you wrap your gifts, the last thing you go here is your boy Forte and your boy Slobo backslap talking all this, whatever crazy stuff we're going to talk about in this show. But, um, yeah, man, slow-mo, um, how you been, man? It's been, been two weeks since I, did one of these things with you so how you doing yeah i'm doing pretty good you know it's uh it's been it's been it's been a few weeks yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's been two weeks since we did the last show and it just feels like so much has gone on and i really just been ain't making videos ain't really the podcast or anything just just dealing with life and work and 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 kids and family and everything just like you know what it's been time it's been it it was a well needed time to decompress with you know everything, but I I you know I, today I was thinking like man I need to make a video about this a video about that about the uh, yeah I, I can feel the 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 uh, the juices is flowing again I feel re energized so it's uh, it's time to get back into it you know yeah man um let's get some we got definitely in the chat Merry Christmas for and slow mo bro Merry Christmas to you what's up Ra- Jeff Lloyd racer up in here telling us no worry guys he said he wanted to say merry christmas to us uh he better say it now because he might not last the podcast i mean i mean <laughs> you know you know a lot of us might not make it through the podcast you know first of all on brap yesterday Enrique barely made it through the podcast well, Enrique <laughs> barely makes it through every podcast he, you remember how like Enrique would start out like his voice would be normal and by like the end of the show he'd be like scratchy and croaky and like losing his voice it's just like how we just talking how, how do you have less than two hours of actual talking uh-huh. voice to, to work with but you know, it is what it is. Shout out to Enrique, man. Yeah, shout out to Enrique. <laughs> shout out to the Brap. Shout out to the Basic Radio Podcast. We it was like me and Brap and 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 um Alcoholic Cause we had um we had uh Optimus on there. So it was it was actually a pretty good show. I mean, I, I you know when when you get all those people together, it's like the pre-show's good, the the after show's good, and it, everything was just good. Plus, you know, Enrique was drinking ipas the whole night so he was he was pretty through before it was all over with oh but, man uh, it, 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 it was drunk a enrique is, is is an interesting cat <laughs> it, it, right if you want to know what that's like just go check out the earlier um pod the earlier entries into um crossfire earlier this year you can definitely neo. see enrique in rear four <laughs> yeah yo shout out shout out to neo mental he said how dare you we demand that you entertain us at all times you can't have time for yourselves shake them my head you, you you're right neo i need to uh, need to realize you know who i'm here for i i will make myself more more available for, to everyone even you know at three in the morning i got you guys you got some you want some content at three in the morning i got you yeah <laughs> shout out to neo. shout out to neo Mino. um my man had his um his playstation 5 finally come to him shout yeah, out to walmart that, shout out to walmart for actually coming through for people that pre-ordered their stuff like seven months ago <laughs> So, uh, man, yeah, shout out to you, Neo, man. I know you've been looking forward to getting that. He he even said in his tweet, he was like, yo, I, I wasn't expecting this to like mid-January. And, and right, right. To him the day before Christmas. That's what's up. Yeah, a couple of my bros, um, the last time Walmart, I mean, maybe it was like a few days ago. It was less than a week ago. Last time Walmart had a, uh, a release of Xboxes and PlayStations, they jumped on them. One of my friends got a PS5, tried to get an Xbox Series X. They ran out, and then it was the reverse for the other the other one. He got Xbox Series X, but they ran out of PS5s before he can get one. But so both of them got them from Walmart, and both of them, they were told it wasn't showing up until January, and then they both got theirs this week. Yeah, man. So it's pretty wild, pretty wild. Um, I finally got my GPU back from MSI, and... Uh, 
interesting very interesting so it like the 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 rattling sound is gone but then i i figured out how they got rid of it like they 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 basically didn't really fix the issue what they did was they just lowered my my uh fans so on the two fans on the gpu so that they couldn't hit max uh rpm oh, they lowered your fan curve so that's how they got around the 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 the, 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 the rattling vibrating sound it's just like really so now so now my temps are like hitting like <laughs> 78 to 8 to, to 80 80 uh degrees celsius and it's like i've never seen my gpu over what 70 was degrees. it what was it hitting before it, at the max for the like the, the max i've ever seen it hit was like 76 oh man you could play in about two or three degrees i mean two yes, or three I degrees am. Two to three degrees is actually a lot on a graphics card, so I ain't gonna make it seem I, like I, <laughs> it's just, I'm just the I'm I'm a little a little annoyed with it, but I'm not going to make it that that big a deal. As soon as I can get my hands on a new a new GPU, it's it's, it's getting re- yeah, it's getting replaced anyway. You so I'm, I'm even... got to go. Once once you have a problem, you always have a problem. It's time to get rid of it. Right, right. And, and look, I, the reason why I said that is because I, I knew I was going to sell it at some point, and I didn't want to sell it knowing there was an issue with it. Because I, I, I know other people do that, but I don't feel comfortable doing that. So, you know, it, it is what it is. Shout out to the Ash and Luca in the chat. What's up, oh, wait, Luca? Hey, what's up, Sly Luca? Crow. Sly Crow in the chat. What's good, y'all? True set, true sab. I, I guess that. Yeah, true yeah, yeah, that. Oh Why man, I hope you guys are. Uh, yes, Merry Christmas to the Legion of Scum. <laughs> yeah, Legion Merry of Scum. Merry Christmas, to everybody. We got like T minus three hours, yeah, uh, uh, technically for at least for us East Coasters, uh, um, Eastern Standard Time people, three hours. Um, oh, did racer. you, uh, racer oh, go ahead, man. No, racer was like you having trouble in PC gaming paradise. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, when when you borrow when you borrowing somebody else's GPU, when I mean borrowing, he went to eBay and bought one for super cheap that had the same problem that the one he sent out and they lowered his tips. Yeah, those are problems. So, wait, 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 hold. it had what it had it, it did it one time. The the <laughs> very it was weird. It was the very first time I I, I game I bullied up. I heard the rattling sound from the one I, I bought off of eBay. Same same manufacturer, MSI. They're trash. Um, yeah. but then after that, I haven't heard it since on that, that 1060. So yeah. I got my 2070 super back. It's not no more vibrating sound, but you know, I, I'm gonna play around with the fan curve myself. I'm just going, you know, pull up MSI afterburner, which is literally the only thing MSI has ever been good for. Right. I'm gonna pull that up and I'm gonna play around with the fan curves myself. So I can try to get my, my max RPMs back without having to deal with the, the rattling sounds, but I mean, regardless, I finally get, was able to play Cyberpunk 2077 with ray tracing and DLSS enabled, and it looks amazing. I'm um, playing like 1440p, 60 frames per second Ooh. with with uh, with ray tracing, ray tracing, no reflections on, just ray tracing shadows and ray tracing lighting on balanced and DLSS for balanced. Yeah, yeah, I think it's balanced. I got yeah, DLS has balanced setting, and it looks it looks really good. It's a good looking game. I finally got past the uh, <laughs> the 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 prologue. It's six hour prologue. It's pretty funny. Um, I, I'm I'm thinking I'm like you know making it my. I'm starting to enjoy the story. I'm getting pretty deep in the game, and then didn't like the cyberpunk logo pops up, and I'm like, it was over. That was no, that was, that was the prologue. I was like, oh, oh I haven't played wow. it yet, so you know, I, I was I, like, this is how long was it? it? The longest like, prologue, like five, six hours. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so, trying to think what movie, what movie was that or game was that that had like this dumb prologue, and when you looked up, it's like that was the prologue. <laughs> <laughs> I was you, like, man, you, not, you was like, did I walk into the movie late? <laughs> right, right, right. I was like, this is this is wild. Uh, 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 Railzar Double O says, uh, just about an aftermarket GPU cooler. The fans come off. I'm like, look, you know, look, it's it. As far as they did say, it is only like a couple of degrees, really. That is, it's it's that it's hotter now than it was before, and then. 
I'm not gonna have this GPU in two or three months, so it's not even that big a deal. I'm not. I'm not. I'm like I, I've had some other buddies like, man, why don't you? Why don't you just do this? Why don't you? You know, like someone made that suggestion to me, and I was just like, so you want me to spend more money on this GPU when I'm gonna replace it? So no. <laughs> I'm good. No. I'm just going. I'm just going to stick with it for now, enjoy it for now, and then get rid of it. You know, so uh, you know, Slomo. There's one thing that I missed, <laughs> other than missing you. I miss Gregor. I miss Gregor and his antics every week. Man, not having Gregor like to just completely trounce on me every week has not. It, it just wasn't good for the like. It, it's good for my soul when Gregor's here. He says Forte going to get stuck in someone's chimney tonight trying to get Game Pass under people's tree. Okay, Gregor. All right, you in rare form Game already. Pass goes. Already. Oh, already. That's, that's what I like to see. <laughs> that's what I like to see, man. That's what I like to see. But no. Uh, um so I you're not the only one that had um PC problems this week, Slomo. Oh, you had some too? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it wasn't with and the thing is it was a piece that I added to my PC. So I don't know if you saw it. I know this is during your you know your banishment my from black Twitter. Out. Yeah, yeah this, this <laughs> banishment for Twitter that your self-proposed banishment. Man, uh, I tell you, I, I I had no idea all the drama with CD Projekt Red uh, was going on. I, I mean, like I, I like I, it's like I came out of a, a coma and I was like, wait a minute, yeah. Like what so, happens? Sony Sony took it off the. <laughs> it, it, it's like what yeah. fire, fire, <laughs> fire everywhere. No, right. so so yeah, I, so I went so. I posted on there that I bought a brand new um, 4K HD 60 Pro for my um, to capture video from the new system. Oh, Elgato. Okay. I purchased that because I was because mm. I was getting I'm getting tired of Xbox and their trash upload with their um, their game DVR because it, it it just the footage doesn't look good. It, it's not a high enough bit rate. It just looks pixelated when you blow it up to 4K. I mean, it's doable, but it's like if you want to start taking stuff serious, I kind of just wanted to invest in that. Right, right. Um, so I went out and got it at Best Buy and, you know, this was about two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So for over the last two weeks, I just was building up clips, just trying to get, you know, a bunch of gameplay saved up. And Luca, shout out to Luca. Um, uh, first of all, let me get this. Shout out to uh, Luca with the five dollars super chat. Hit the likes button. Encourage Thotico to post videos. I saw your text. Unacceptable. Okay, so now this is where I'm going with this. Thank you, Luca. Thank you. I, I really treat. You. And Luca's been on me, on me, like telling you, like I, I swear she's like my legit birth mother. How much he's been on me. So. I, I bought this card. I put it in my PC, and I've been in, I've been literally just capturing gameplay. And I went to go look. It's like, where's your next video? Where's your next video? So we came up with this nice little structure. So this is the Elgato 4K 60, 60 Pro. Yeah, no, the 60 Pro MK, the MK, the internal oh, card, the, the internal, internal card, the gotcha. internal card. Okay. Dude, um, so uh, I got all the gameplay, and I'm you know Lucas like give me ideas on making videos for uh, destiny and stuff. So I start like theory crafting and making these videos. And then I start making them and no crap. The first day I was having audio issues. Nothing was synced up. Voices was completely loud. And, and, and I recorded all the footage in HDR. And for some reason, premiere pro doesn't do a great job in, um, processing HDR footage. Nope. Nope. Not at all. So I had to go back and record stuff and turn HDR off on a capture card just to get that. Oh, but then I go back in and record again. And I, you know, if you're in a premiere, you can actually mute. Well, you can do it in any audio software. You can, or right, video right. I mute the track for voice so I can make sure the audio levels for the music isn't too loud. Mm-hmm. But I render the video with no, I render the video with the voice track muted. So you know when you mute it, it's only going to play what's not muted. So I got this beautiful video with this beautiful song, but no voice. <laughs> so I, I'm like, what the hell is going on? This was like two days ago, three days ago. Because Lucas like, when's your video? I was like, Luca, you ain't going to believe this. I um recorded without you know the voice track. I literally had to mute it. She's like, okay, you, you better get this video up. So finally, I, I had to. Re- I finally get the video done, 
I, I tell Luke, I said, I got it posted. It's ready to go on the channel. I already uploaded it because it's a big 4K file. You know, the bigger native 4K right. file is the longer it takes to upload. So right, right. it finally gets uploaded. So right before I get ready to click it to go, to, you know, to set the time, I listen to it again. And as I'm watching the video, the video is stuttering. Like every 15 seconds, the video stuttered. So I'm like, hmm. then I go look at all my clips and you don't notice it in the gameplay. Cause like when I'm playing on my TV, I don't see the stuttering, but if you it's not capture, it's not capturing that 60 frames per second. It must not be because what I had to go in. So, so I got it figured out. Now I literally had to do some research for like, while I was at work in between customers today, and you know how busy today was. Mm -hmm. So I, I got to work. I, I looked at it. And I was like, okay, what the hell's going on? And it come to find out you have to have the, the 4k, even knowing the capture card sits at 4k, you have to change it to, it's like it records at 59.97 and it has to be at 60 frames per second. You have to change it manually by what? One, by a 10th of a, a tenth of a point. You have to change it from 59.97 to 60 flat. If you want to record on next gen consoles, you have to, because if you don't, you're going to get intermittent stuttering at various parts of the gameplay. It is doesn't. This, is this PlayStation and Xbox Series X? Both systems. Both systems. No matter what. Both systems were doing it to me. So as soon as, because I just kept looking up videos on it. And I was like, dude, is you serious? So when I get home, I try it and I record about like 15 minutes of gameplay. Not a piece of a stutter. But what does that mean? What that means is literally the like 15 hours of gameplay I got. No good whatsoever. So I had to record everything all over again. And Luca's like didn't know me. Like I didn't see. Like, I think Luca think I was ignoring her yesterday, which I was, and I was just busy at work and I didn't see it. She texted me. Well, she called me. I didn't see her call. She texted me. Was like, "Yo, where's your video?" And I was wait, like, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. "Yeah, is it? Yeah, it, something uh, dark. Uh, dark in the chat just an HDMI two point one. Is isn't the HDMI port?" For that internal Elgato only HDMI 2.0? I that's a good question because I need to that's look probably at what your issue is. Because if you're trying to render it in 4K and 4K 60, it's not going to do uh it's not, I don't think it's gonna do uh, HD you would wait, 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 let me double check it. HDMI 2 2.0 does I think it does do 4K 60, or, or maybe it, it definitely doesn't do 4K it does 4K 120. No, it, HDMI 2.0 does not do 4K no 2.1 no 2.1 does so 2.0 should do 60 I mean, though right right it, it should do 60 let me double check it I, I, I don't think know. it is but go ahead man go ahead no 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 just to make a long story short the stuff was pissing me off I had my mama yelling at me about it does not do, making it a video does do 4K 260 okay okay sure. yeah yeah my mom was yelling at me asking me about videos I felt bad because I missed her call and, and I made it seem like I, I I was ignoring her and that she wasn't didn't mean anything and that wasn't the case so I finally got up this morning and I saw her message and I was like oh I missed this and then I got to work and I was like, let me text her. So I don't know what her thinking. I'm ignoring her, <laughs> but she never replied to me. So it's good to see that she actually knows that I'm not ignoring her. That's what she see in the super <laughs> Because I, because I think she thought. Shout that out to oh, shout out to Gregor saying what Forte's, say? cap, Forte's capture card has never seen the ending of a game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, it has. It saw the ending of God of War with my beautiful HD 60 that I still have God of War footage on when I beat it. So, yes, it has actually seen the end of a game. But let's let's be for real. Shut up, Gregor. You you know what? I can't I can't stand you. But um, overall, man, that that's been that's been my um, that's been my issue with PC over the course oh, of this week. Oh. But. Well, let me say, because it seems like you were having similar issues that I was having with capturing footage on next gen consoles. And I had, a, when I did my, my first impressions video of the PlayStation 5, I had all kinds of issues in capturing the footage to the point where I was trying so many different other methods to get it done. But what it, all, what it all came down to is that maybe i should go the route of using a, a capture card to capture it separately off of the playstation yeah but but i i figured some things out and i got some footage that's that's really good it's just like it's not lossless 
it's not like one to one to what it looked like when I played the game, but it's extremely close. The right. it, what the, I think is it was very forward thinking of Sony in particular to have all of their internal capturing for the PlayStation you using by default it uses WebM format, which is weird. <laughs> you know, like most people use M, uh, MP4. Uh, hold on, Gregor, Gregor Von Doom. <laughs> that practically was two years ago. <laughs> Forte tries to be the game now. Is Capture Card going to pull a pull a muscle? <laughs> Merry oh, Christmas. That is Merry hilarious. Christmas. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. So, so if you if you try to do you, if you try to record something in 4K on the PlayStation Five, it's only going to use WebM. It will not use MP4. It won't use so, yeah. And so when you try to move that to so because I, I even bought this really expensive um USB C um uh, uh um flash drive um to in order to try to put things on because I wanted to make sure that like it transferred and copying from the PlayStation to my USB wasn't the issue. But it really what it came out down to is that literally every program that I was using on my PC does not use WebM, or if it uses WebM, it's a jittery mess. The, the, wow. the format just sucks, and it's just and it's, it's forward thinking in the sense that is it has it's it's smaller files than a MP a 4K MP4 would be, and so that's why I think Sony went with that. But the problem is that no other there are very few like video editing software or just media players on PCs that use WebM. I had to, I, I had to, uh, I had to download a plugin for windows media player to get it, the, the run on that. And on my, um, on my, on the software that I use to do video editing, it supposed it says it's, it supports WebM, but it doesn't support the, the higher quality WebM that, PlayStation is using this. It's WebM, and then I think it's something like K9, which is I don't know what that means, but it's just like it's not just regular WebM, <laughs> unfortunately. Wow. So, so it's like so if it was regular WebM, my video editing software would be good, but it's because it's not my video editing software cannot keep up with the video, and it's just a, a juddery mess. So I got to actually use my NVENC, my NVIDIA NVENC encoder to then capture on second screen everything over again in MP4 and then run that. It's just, it's all this extra work to to the video editing that I didn't want to do. You would think with next generation consoles, they would make it easier instead of more, like more steps and more difficult to get it done. But then also... As I said, they're being forward thinking and using a format that might be widely adopted in the future, might be. But then at the same time, it's like, well, no one else is using this but you. So yeah. <laughs> you're really just making it, you know, more difficult. So like I, I, I thought about doing the actually had already did the Avermedia Media Live Gamer 4K, uh-huh. uh the internal capture card. It the one I got from Best Buy was faulty. I had to send it back. And then after that point, I was just like, you know what? At that time, I'm like, I'm not even really, I don't really need this that much. So I went and got like a the Razer, the Razer HD uh, external capture card, and used that for some stuff. So it's it's like it's not even, it it wasn't necessary then. It may be a little bit more necessary now, but I I decided. You remember I told you I was going to build a PC for my son, right? Yeah. So I'm I'm talking to him and everything, and that just like, you know, what I ended up doing instead. I just end up getting them an Xbox Series S, man. Oh, you 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 got, you got them one? Yeah, yeah. It's going it's going to be here next week. Um, it was supposed to be here or yesterday, but uh, it got delayed. But I just got him an Xbox Series S because he's only going to play Minecraft, Fortnite, he and Roblox. He can play and, that you own on your Xbox. Just link those. Yeah, two. right. Yeah, you can. And, play and he and he's he's one of these new age kids that don't like controllers, so he likes everything mouse and keyboard. All three of those those games that he pl- he can play with mouse and keyboard, you just connect it to the Xbox, and he's good to go. So I, I got just got that. Current. It's actually really good. So what? 
I have the Razer Turret, the one, the Xbox keyboard, the, the overpriced that, keyboard. Yeah, I, oh, I didn't get it. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't pay. That. I, I, guess I got. A, you know, <laughs> I got like a ton of keyboards and 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 mice and stuff in my office. So it I just like those, I, it was one of those deals that I couldn't pass up for the price that it was. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, if it, if if it was regular prices, when I would yeah, get it, like, I, absolutely not. Two fifty is ridiculous. Two fifty for, for that? Game. No, absolutely yeah, not. They had lost their mind. Um, but so what I'm gonna do with everything that I was putting together for his PC, I'm just going. I'm just going to build a streaming PC for everything that's right. that I all this all, all I need now is a is a case, a motherboard, and and to 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 choose the CPU I want to use, and then bam, I'll I'll just I'll just build a streaming PC, and that will be my dedicated streaming PC for everything, and then I'll be all set to go with streaming. Um, completely going forward, but um, I'm pretty sure we we've gone super. Well, off topic. I was gonna literally say, well, we never went on topic, so you know this is That's like true. this is this is literally the interlude. Yeah, the interlude prologue now. interlude. Yeah. In, you know, interlude. interlude. We have to actually start the show and then okay. do an interlude in the yeah. middle what of it. The, well, no, no, no. This is the interlude because you know we did start the show and technically <laughs> the show not the inter- for, 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 is not the interlude. Okay, this is whatever. Not, not interlude. <laughs> to the to the to the show prelude. Uh, Pre- there you go prelude uh, oh my gosh shut up um oh here comes a gregor i don't think gregor's gonna get me in a second but um look man uh we talked we talked about that stuff a lot but first of all uh big cloud um thanks for coming through brother really appreciate Yo, what's up, you man um man's been killing it man um the growth on that channel has been tremendous um, the only thing I wish he would do is stop lying to himself when he says, I'm not going to go back into the console war, be beat down on Xbox, but then he does it anyway <laughs> because that's what his fans want. But shout out to you, man, because your your channel is uh, pretty incredible, and um, I love seeing um, people that, you know, actually respect gaming to become, you know, bigger in this community because we need a lot. We need a lot more of that in this community. But um yeah, man. So let's get into this first topic, man. You know, the thing that we said, what, a couple, like a year ago, we said, man, that ain't really going to happen. That's, that's, that's fake. It's not fake, slow mo. Wh- what's up with this KFC? What is up with this Kentucky Fried Bucket that's going to be coming out I, soon? I, I don't get it. I, you look, at this point, if you could tell me next week that Burger <laughs> King. Is gonna make a game in PC, and I'd be like, "All right, All right, <laughs> let's see it." But a Play year ago, a year ago, if you would have told me Burger King was making a game in PC, I would buy a Whopper just to throw with your head, right? It just is. It, it doesn't make any sense. But here we are, KFC, and, and you look at it. I mean, the design. I'm like, they designed it like a bucket of chicken. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking at like when when, when I heard. It was a thing, you know. I was in my my self imposed blackout, right? And it was my one of my friends that was like, "Hey yo, hey yo, you, you getting that KFC uh, console?" I was like, "Dude, shut up!" And he's like, "No, no, seriously, there's a KFC console." I'm like, "Dude, no, there's not. <laughs> I'm going to send it to you." I'm like, "Dude, whatever this is, this is the onion. This is this is whatever those look joke websites. You, you're being fooled here." And he's like, "All right, here it is." And I'm looking at. It, I'm like. Hell, this is real. <laughs> this is this is real. Then I'm looking at they have to show look, well, not all the specs, but some of the specs, and I'm like Intel CP uh NVIDIA GPU swappable GP. What that. is happening here? <laughs> One terabyte of storage. I'm like, I'm just sitting here, like they're talking about 4K gaming at 120. Right. I, no, that, 240 slow mo. Right. My, my, my bad. 240. <laughs> I'm sitting here ray like, tracing. What I'm sitting here like, <laughs> and here's the here's the thing that made made me want to slap myself is I was just like, I wonder what the gooey looks like. And I'm just like, why am I even thinking about this? Why am I thinking about a KFC bucket console and what the gooey looks like <laughs> <laughs> who is this for this is this has got to be now I, I refuse to believe they are going to like mass produce this thing this is kind of like one of those and i, I don't know what, what your city if they have this but like matter of fact you're from detroit right yeah 
Yeah, so you, matter of fact, you see stuff like this all the time. But mm-hmm. out in D.C., every year we got our annual car show. They have it uh-huh. downtown at one of the big, you know, historical buildings. I can't remember the name. Yeah, ours is at Kobo every year. Yeah. So, like, I used to go, me and my, my boys back in the day when we were young, we would go to it every time. I, I've taken the kids to it a few times. I remember always, I used to love seeing it because I always see, these like, these concept cars that you just know the manufacturer is never going to make this. It's too expensive, and, uh, and only less than 1% of the population can ever afford it. You know, and then who's going to keep up on the maintenance or something like that? It's crazy. But I remember seeing this. this I remember it was, I think it was the Chrysler 16. It was just, it was, it was beautiful. It was this beautiful car. And I was just like, yeah, that's never going to get made. That's what this KFC bucket console is, okay? It is a, it's a real thing. Like I'm pretty sure there's going to be some celebrity out there who's going to own it, and be, and, but unless it's open source or some so, so like or you're you're able to emulate games off of it, I don't think you're really going to play anything with it. No, I and think I, it's, I think it's a PC. It's a it's a glorified P. It's basically a Steam box, <laughs> but yeah, uh, how do those do? In console for dog. This might actually dog. Listen, no, this is so no. out. Listen, I'm not saying that it's gonna like sell millions of consoles. I'm just saying there are people out there. Like, if you say Steam Machine, that's like, oh, okay, Steam. We know what Steam is, but I already got a PC, so I really don't need this. But if you say KFC, a console that w- <laughs> that warms your, <laughs> can you even eat regular chicken with this chick? This con- you have to go to KFC, right? No, you, no, can't, it, you can't. It just, you just can't just make able. your own chicken. Oh. <laughs> It better not be able to cook your chicken because no, they that, say it warms your chicken. It, well, yeah, of course. You know, like we we got PCs. We know how what, what the temps are inside. The thing. Yeah, it'll yeah, keep it'll keep you warm. yeah, sure. Okay, it, it should keep your food warm for you. You know, if if it's cooking your food, we got some problems. <laughs> we got some but, problems. <laughs> you, you, this this console might not be long for for this world if it's cooking. <laughs> but, but keeping it warm, should that that should be look shoot. If if there was a space in Inside of these these PS fives and Xbox Series X, they should, they should be able to keep your food warm for you too. Did you see I, that? Did you see KFC Gaming their tweet where they tweeted out to them saying like, um, if Xbox and PlayStation want to learn how to learn the the eleven herbs and spices and how you can um keep your chicken warm when you're gaming, you know, we'll, if they want to do that in our next iteration, they we're, we're we're willing to talk to them. Yeah, I no, I did see that tweet where they said the console wars are over. <laughs> that was hilarious. But listen, the, listen. The funny thing is smart, they are. Smart. The funny thing is they're saying that this is the most powerful console ever. Does that mean the Xbox is losing their title to a bucket of chicken? <laughs> 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 oh man, it's this that's, that's too funny. Oh Lord, I can't I can't. When I saw that, I was like, man, no way. This is and it's no way. It, but it actually but the thing is it actually looks cool. This is vaporware, man. Stop it. This is it, this is this is nothing. This is look wait, until wait, it releases. What, <laughs> until, wait, wait, to what games? What? Maybe everything that's on the Steam library. No, no. Slow mo, slow mo. No. If this thing, slow mo. If this no. thing is duh. Did you hear no. what this thing? they said? One terabyte of hard drive space. They said Nvidia and uh, Intel graph, or was it AM? No, Nvidia. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's the Intel, Intel and uh, Nvidia graphics card. So that that right there is the making of an actual. None of PC. this is an actual game, though. You, everything you're talking have to be. about. Whoa, whoa, you, it's a it's a gaming con. Where, where where's the games at? Where are you gonna play on it? I mean, it's called it's called, it's called Origin. It's called Steam. It's called Good Old Games. It's it's called a lot of different places you can play. You're games. acting like KFC could just just say, you know what? We're just gonna put Steam on this. It's not Steam that's doing it. You it's can't. Cooler Cooler Masters, the one that's producing they can't it. Just. Put Steam uh-huh. as their, as their UI on wait, 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 I'm not saying that. You're telling me that if it's a PC, you can't just sell it as a PC and let a person go to Dude, Steam and download no, Steam on it? No, because now you're trying, you're, you're, 
you, you're creating a marketplace when there already is a marketplace. It doesn't matter. It's a system that they can sell. Just, just like you can walk Forte. into the store right Forte. now and buy a. Oh, wait, listen, wait, hold on. Just like you, you mean, can walk into slow mo, slow mo. Just like you, you can walk. Listen, slow mo. Be quiet. You, I no, I'm not you. listening to this. I understand you haven't been able to talk in two on, weeks. They can't just put Valve's software. I'm not saying on, it their con- on their console, they can't do that. Slow mo. They have Slow-mo. to enter in some kind of agreement with Valve to do this. How do they have to? It- so, so are you telling me that every? <laughs> so if this thing has Windows on it, you telling me? So <laughs> if I build my PC from scratch, okay, I gotta enter in some console, agreement. Then it's not a console. I'm not. I don't think it's a console. They're calling it. Like, they're calling it the KFC console, which means it's more. It, it's actually not a console it's just the fact that it probably sounds a little bit more catchy by calling it's, it a console. It's, as soon as it's you say PC, put windows up. 10 on it and then and then it's a pc then that's what i'm saying that's but, what but I'm that's, saying. But no, that's not what they said. They didn't say this is the this is your a great you know ga- gaming pc this they didn't say that it's going to be a pc it's it's dude it's going where, to be where, where, where have you seen it's, it's going to be a PC? I'm, I'm well, looking. I'll, I'll bet you on this right now that it, when it releases, it'll be a PC. When it releases, when when is that? We don't know. It who knows? <laughs> this is a marketing look. I'm guarantee you there is an actual. What well, they trying to sell more chicken? First of all, first of all, you say it's going. It's a PC on the freaking thing it on the panel. It says KFC console, so it's not a PC. It doesn't matter. It's still going to be a PC. <laughs> It's still gonna be a piece. <laughs> uh, D- D- Dr. Siraka says the KFC console comes with custard's revenge remake. <laughs> <laughs> look, it says PC on it. It's not look, this is this is crazy. It, it look, I, I but th- this is smart marketing on their part. Think about all they had to do. Sell more chicken. Yeah, that's, that's I mean they do gotta do Here something to get catch up. Chicken. They do gotta do something before Popeye's pass them. In my in my opinion, Popeyes is already. Passed. Oh, I agree. But, Popeyes is Popeyes is dope. <laughs> but but this is this is like <laughs> think about the kind of marketing they did here. They spent what maybe what actually they didn't really have the well maybe the R and D on designing a console, and we don't even know if it's like you know if the, if the the design really works for like you know getting exa- exhausting the heat out. Properly and all that other stuff. It's a, it's a big bucket of chicken, it. but it's right, right. A big but, vapor plate back there. <laughs> but to, to put that together, you, they, they spent you know way way less than what they would normally spend for just one of their commercials, probably. And then they just tweet this out. So you, don't think this is, you don't think this is going to happen? You don't think it's going to be a, a, no, be no, a this is, that releases with yeah. a bucket of chicken? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I This is, this will, ne- this will never have a launch. Oh, okay. Th- there will be some people who may pop up like, look, I got the KFC console and it's just good. It's going to be a celebrity that can so market. Think Cooler Master is just a part of the ploy just to get it out there. Yeah, because who talks about Cooler Master? Oh they, shit! <laughs> it, yeah, I mean, let, let's keep it a buck. Cooler Master ain't nobody. In the, in the nah, yeah, arena. when I heard, when, yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. When I heard that Cooler Master was doing it, I was like, yeah, they kind of need to be. They kind of need to do something to get their name out there. Because I think for people, yeah, forgot about exactly. that. <laughs> they, your name is Cooler Master, but everyone else cool CPUs better than you. Like, <laughs> you, you kind of need some of this this publicity, you know. <laughs> Okay. I mean, uh, look, it's, it's it's all it's all about getting marketing, and and it works. It work it's working perfectly. People are talking about KFC, and it, it, it's it's kind of like that subliminal thing. Like you 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 see commercials, and like you, you watch the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is coming up in a, in a, another couple of months. You're going to see commercials, and it's going to have nothing to do with what the actual product's about. But what's the end result? Hey, I, I saw a Ford commercial. I mean, I think like, the the result is, gotta, that, is, is that you get the product in your mind. How if KFC has a commercial about the console at the Super Bowl? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Kirby Zero, Kirby Zero Louis, uh, uh, Louis says, Gamer Nexus had a lot of good things to say about the Cooler Master and our 600Ks. They aren't a nobody. I'm not saying they're complete nobodies. Cooler Master, I think, was 
much better and a much more prominent years ago. Now you look at them now. I have looked at a lot of more recent comparisons to CPU coolers. Cooler Master is never in the top. Okay, they yeah, they're, they're getting, that took that over. <laughs> yeah, they're getting bodied by everybody. How about the, the Sky Fuma Two? How about any Noctura cooler? Any Noctura anything? Body, <laughs> they they aren't as big as they used to be. Thank you. And so, like, yeah, the Noctua kills it on the air cooler market, and they are they they don't do cooler mass doesn't do anything that is 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 competitive in the liquid cooling side of things. So it's like they they are not who they used to be. So that's what I'm saying. It's like this surprises well, me what, at all that they they're like involved in this. It's like well, hey, what Noctua marketing out here. Well, once Noctua changed that ugly design and gave you different color fans that weren't beige and yellow, oh, the, the, the chroma, <laughs> the chroma black. Yeah, uh, I was like, "Whoo, there, there we go." That black said, out, yeah. It, I was like, I "There you go." Their coolers weren't so huge, huge boss, <laughs> that they just block out your your RAM slots because it's like, I mean, if you got RGB RAM, you either it's too your RGB RAM is too tall. Yeah. For your uh your Noctua cooler, or you're gonna have to um you're you're going you're, you're not going to be able to see your RGB past it. So it's just uh, oh, yeah. that's the part reason why I got I went with the Sky Fuma too for for my my uh my my cooler or my overclocked uh, CPU because I I want to be able to still be able to just get to my RAM slots easily. You yeah. know, if I want to swap out RAM or add more to it without having to take the cooler off and then. You know, once you take it off, you might as well just go ahead and get the uh, the, the rubbing alcohol and then clean off your CPU, reapply thermal paste, put the cooler back on, all that stuff, right? So it's just I don't have to worry about that anyway. Um, yeah, yeah. no, you no, you're you're right. I mean, I think it just comes down to the fact that you know they're not as big as they used to be and everything like that. But it, it's still a funny story that. You know, it's, KFC, a, it's an amazing story. I want to see more of the <laughs> stuff like this. I want to see it in different. I want to see like I want to see a different industry or market decide. Like I want to see Domino's come out and say, "Hey, look, they already had they yeah, sunshine. We, we, right. we got we we got a we got a, a, a console, and it's the size of a pizza box. <laughs> 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 it's got fans flat all over it." Box. It's just a flat piece of box, almost like a little, like a like a one U server, you know, like like. So the dish tray opens up like you're opening the box. Yeah, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> only only on one side would like the dish tray pop out there. I'm thinking like a one U server that, but in the design of a piece of box with dominoes on the top of it, and and they can get with AMD, and they can get with you know what Intel trying to come out with GPUs now too. So like go, get with Intel and really promote. And so maybe they will like give you a whole bunch of those GPUs to really kind of push it. And you know, there you go. They see like hey, Domino's jump on that. You guys can, you know, actually get your name out there instead of just being the, the company that gets bodied by Pizza Hut. So uh shout out to um basement radio RK podcast with the two dollar super chat. Thank you, Enrique. Um, great show um yesterday, as always, to KFC console. Or KF console is a console per KFC. So he he agreed with you, slow mo. And I'm not yeah. saying, I mean, you know, anybody with two eyes can see that the thing says console on it. I just think exactly. that. Yeah, I, yeah, the semantics. Well, Kirby, Kirby, we, we were talking about the Atari console. Was this last time we had the show two weeks ago? I feel like, uh, or oh, no, was that it thing's on real. you can still pre order yeah. it. It's, yeah, yeah, you were telling me like you could pre order it. You can it. still pre order it. It's, it's $400. You can pre order it. I, the thing is, is that like the only people who are buying the Atari are people who are just, they're just collectors. enthusiasts. The collectors. Like, like they're just going to buy every console in existence just to say, like, I got one of everything. And that's and, really, really because there's and, no and, games running on it. There's no one saying, hey, I'm gonna put my game on the Atari so that the, the the 13 people that bought it can can actually play my game. Nah, nah. Unless Atari's out here actually getting a, a real first party together and and making games for it, then it's it's. Uh, I mean, in the more compelling games that people actually want to play, then it, it's a it's a non-starter. I think yeah. the last Atari console that was ever any had any relevance was the Jaguar, and I think. 
the only reason why it was even, even somewhat relevant because that alien versus prior to game on it was pretty cool. Yeah, that's true. Um, let's go through this. Uh, a couple people jumped into the show. Uh, Sir Taz, shout out to you, brother. He says, "What up, though?" Um, that man has um, that man has pretty much conquered destiny at this point. I don't even know what he even does in the game anymore. Yo, first of all, shout out to villain, villain, our brother, villain. This man, when does this man play any? Do you okay? Even though you've been banished from all of these different places because you done, you know, self put yourself in quarantine. Have you seen villain do anything? Like, do you see him on game systems? Do you see him on PlayStation or Xbox? Do you do you ever see this man playing? No, I don't ever see him playing anything. But, this, but somehow, but somehow he'll have like. You know, a, a thousand achievement score in in certain games or in all these hours. I, I really kind of feel like he has one of his servants pl- just play games for him, and and that's how he gets to just do you know just play with his action figures all day, and then just like oh, exactly. no one's actually you know playing games for him. So I mean, that, that's just the way I always yeah. I be. I asked him. I was like, you know, asking questions about stasis. I said, well, let me ask him. I don't know if he knows. I was like, you know, what's the best way to go for this path? He said, well, I did Crucible. I did that a while ago. I was like, huh? I said, when do you even play? He was like, man, I got the whole Titan subclass finished. I was like, that just in my mind, thinking about how long that grind is, I'm like, I never see you play ever. It, it it makes no sense to me, but I'm not gonna go into that whole tangent. But um, yeah, man, that was that's 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 crazy about that KFC console, man. But we'll see. I I do think that thing is going to release. I think it is going to be something that it's going to be very. What price do you think it'll be if it does release? Which I think it never it won't. But if it does release, what price do you think they'll price it at? Who the hell knows? Don't until we see what the what the actual components truly are. It, that thing could be anywhere from. 300 to 600 if they price it as like you're saying like a like a emulator and a console uh, what 100 what 200 max 200 the, the, the 240 hertz gaming 4k what, with what ray game, tracing what games no slow-mo that's, slow-mo that's why i keep saying that it's not an emulator it's a con- it's a pc if it's a pc it's gonna be like eight nine hundred dollars it should probably be that as a console as well. Okay. Well, if Look, it's a legit console, it's going to be that price. If it's a legit console and they actually legit want to sell this and be competitive somewhat in this arena, you're looking at like $500. 240 hertz? Minimum. Game? Minimum. Did they, say that was an MV, did they say that was an SSD, one terabyte? Yeah. They did okay, but they didn't say what generation it is, like a PCIe 4.0 or 3.0. Well, that's still considering if they really want to, if they really want to make this something that is capable of being competitive in pricing, and they want to mass produce it, they definitely want to make cut some corners here oh and there. God, you the know? fact that you just said mass produce and Kentucky Fried Chicken are the same. <laughs> There's two one terabyte <laughs> SSDs in it. Hold up, 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 hold up. Hey, I'm telling Two, you, Slobo, it's one a ter- th- it's No, a they're not. No, no, this is this will never be launched. This will never be launched. It's Two a- one terabyte SSD. Is- no, no, this this is like it's like a it's, a it's a concept car. It's a concept console. It's a it's a what if we did sell this kind of well, thing? Tesla and then was, a, they, Tesla they made was a concept at one point too, and then they started selling them. Yeah, well, you know. The same Tesla. I'm just trying to say, if, man. If the Tesla, the, the company Tesla said we're going to make a, a video game console and mass produce it. I would believe it. But this is KFC. Look, Skycrow says that a thousand dollars is more reasonable. They already out here saying they will to spend a thousand dollars on this thing. Slow on. He didn't say that. He said he it was said more no. reasonable. He didn't it, say he was going to no. buy it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I read it wrong. More reasonable. Yo, let me ask you a question. Who's going to spend? All right. Who is actually interested? In purchasing well, the KFC. Well, another thing is that people are saying that, like, this is what they said. They, they said they were targeting 4K 
and 240 hertz gaming. Yeah. Now, they said NVIDIA GPU, but they didn't tell you what kind of NVIDIA GPU or where. It might be like, one that's not announced yet. All right, a 3050 Ti isn't announced yet. That doesn't mean that it's going to be amazing. It could be a 3080 Ti, all you know. I doubt it. Um, And then, (laughs) and then the the Intel, the Intel uh, um, SOC that that's involved in it. I forgot the name of it. I can't. it, it, It it escapes me right now. But there's different like levels to that as well. It could be a i3, i5, i7, or i9 level of 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 intel chip in there so we don't necessarily know i9 9900 k mm. oh that's what it says it says yeah here 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 it is right here at the heart of the kfc console is a intel nuc knife uh extreme compute element which houses a intel i9 98 all right uh, 9980 all right. hq yeah. process they, so they're, they're using making, a mobile they're using a they're, mobile they're, they're not they're not making this <laughs> they, this is not being made. I'm telling you, like, Wait. yeah, I mean, t- scratch the five hundred dollars. That's that. That's impossible. <laughs> Wait, okay, here we go. Here, yeah, thousand dollars, thousand dollars. Here you go. Here, wait, hold on. The KFC, oh, let me just, okay. The KFC console is built in partnership with PC oh, Maker Master. Oh, I'm, about to, I, I'm about to just, I'm about to just share the screen. I'm about to just <laughs> share the screen. Let me let me just pull this over to the side and I'll share the screen. <laughs> Cause this is even funnier. <laughs> this, this is never going to get made. <laughs> I mean, it's only it's going to be made, but you can't buy one, is what I'm saying. All right, here we are right here. KFC's upcoming system. We're not going to read that. The KFC console is built in partnership with PC Maker Cooler Master. It seems like they are more of a custom PC build than the actual console. It will have a beefy, a beef enough, beef enough specs and are capable of running at 4K, 240 FPS, something you won't find in the PS5 or Xbox Series X. At the heart That's of true. this console is an Intel NUC knife and stream compute unit. Uh, which houses an in- <laughs> Intel Core i9 9980HQ <laughs> processor. There's also a high swappable no. GPU, meaning you can upgrade your KFC console down the road like other consoles, but very like a PC. Storage oh is a pair of PCIe NVMe Seagate Barracuda one terabyte SSDs, which Bruh, is twice the storage. That's five hundred dollars. <laughs> just the, just Yo, the, <laughs> the SSDs alone is. Five hundred dollars, right Wait, there. Which is twice the storage you'll find in the Xbox Series X, and nearly three times that of the PS5. Maybe not as quite as fast, but still very zippy. The KF console is VR ready and supports ray tracing. <laughs> so look, at the so one, ter- okay, one terabyte. If you look at that, this is not quite as fast, but still very zippy. So we're looking at like PCIe 3.0. Yeah, 3.0 more like. Which is like a one terabyte is about that's uh. NVMe, I think that's like 150 right now. You can get that like by that retail 150. If they were really going to mass produce this, they're not. But if they were, they would probably get that a little bit cheaper. So all right, so not like 500 dollars alone for that. Maybe like two, two, two fifty uh, for that for them. But this is yeah, this is like a seven, eight hundred dollar, and, and you know mm. MSRP what we talking about here and. It's gonna release, man. It's not gonna, yo. This is not gonna be. Totally, this is gonna be a troll. <laughs> this is, yo. This is it's not gonna really be a troll. Man. You got it, like you. This is too good to be a troll, man. This is too good to be a troll. Look at the Stadia advertisements on the on the website. <laughs> <laughs> Stadia's like, I don't even look good next to this thing. <laughs> It's about the most marketing Stadia has gotten all oh, yeah. oh, year. Yeah, look at this tweet. The console war is over. <laughs> oh, God. So funny. All right, man. So uh, let's move on from this conversation, man. K- KFC out here living right now, man. They, 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 never they been, living the best life, man. They've they, never they, been so relevant ever in life ever since, man. Ever since Popeyes came in and curse stomped them. Man, hey, hey, look, man, they out. They look. They out here. They sell fake chickens. They're gonna give y'all a fake console too. <laughs> oh, well, uh, that that fake chicken goes to uh, churches. Actually, their chicken is not. Actually, their chicken is not fake. Their chicken has hormones and like steroids inside of them. Yeah. yeah is, this, is that there are no churches in my area. 
Oh man, churches used to be good, man. That that chicken, that was some good chicken. But then I just got to the point where I was like, I just rather have Popeyes. Just rather have yeah. Popeyes. All right, man. So let's move on from um, this conversation and let's go over to Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. You you missed everything about this game, so I'm gonna let you go on a little rant because I know you got a lot of stuff to get caught up on about what's going on, but in particular. Cyberpunk has sold over 13 million units. Is and this that before is, or after that, all no, the refunds? After refunds. Wow. So that's basically so they, that's, they're, that's Call of Duty territory. Yeah, they're saying that the game, um, they're not giving like direct numbers on what it was what it would have sold without the refund with the re, without the refunds, but mm. they're saying like it's being estimated that was anywhere from 14 to 15 million if the refunds didn't happen. So there's a lot of people that returned the game, but there's also a lot of people that still bought this game. Well, what I, do you think about this, Lomo? Well, I I, I did do, did some did some catching up on all this. So it looks like they made all the money back that they spent in in production on this game already, but then due to the hits they've taken publicly with investors with their stock with all that other stuff they've lost so much money due to their their reputation it's taking a massive hit and it's well deserved because honestly this is this is some nonsense man like you right you you basically you lie to gamers and that's never going to be okay i know there was uh, when I, I, I popped my head up out of my blackout uh, very quick to see that there was some like polls and conversation going on on who has hurt their reputation worse, Bioware or CD Projekt Red. And I would say, even though Bioware's reputation is mud right now, it's 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 under a dumpster, you know, right now. That, their reputation is terrible. But right. that said, they haven't gone as bad as trying to hide the way their game looks on a particular platform. That's true. Right before launch. They haven't gone as far as taking your money, taking your pre-order money, while also doing everything humanly possible on their side to make sure you didn't, you never even saw a screenshot of what that game looked like until you put it in your outdated console and, and realized this don't look like what I've seen. Right. To the point where reviewers couldn't use their own footage. So this is let you know how bad the PC version actually was, which was the best version of the game, was the PC version. And that one was so bad that they wouldn't even allow reviewers to use their own footage for their reviews. You had to use stock B roll footage that they provided for you. That's nonsense. Like, and I'm and I shout out to, to reviewers like ACG. Yeah. Who said, you know what? It ain't worth it to me to get my review out by the embargo where everyone else just to have like how I do my process and me being able to tell my community, the people who watch my reviews, what's really going on with this game. That's that's ridiculous. Anyone out there who gave this game a 100 despite all these issues like you suspect me. Just straight up, like, like I'm never going to trust any review you do if you gave this game a 100, despite all of this. Because although the game, and I've been playing, I got, probably got about like eight, nine hours into it already. Although okay. the game, I enjoy the story, I enjoy the characters, I, I like the game. That said, this is not a 100 game. This is not a perfect game in any stretch of the imagination. I, I, I. I, I don't care for the shooting elements at all so far the way I'm playing it because I can't, I, I really can't stay in the shooting. I'm just all melee. I got a katana. I just be going in just cutting dudes up. I really like the melee combat and the, 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 the bladed combat of the game. That's, that's where I'm, I'm really enjoying it. The story again is great and playing it on a, with a 2070 super and with ray tracing and DLSS enabled, it looks, it looks amazing. But right. it's it's so I've never seen a game that is has such drastic changes per platform and how it looks. It's like that red engine does not scale well at all. And 
from what I understood, uh, although and uh, everyone keeps bringing up how like but this game was in development since 2012. I'm like, not really, because no, 2016 CB Project Red is not a very big like development studio. So the it was a skeleton crew working on this game up until 2016. Yeah, because everyone else was working on Witcher Three. So. Yeah, but- Blood and Wine was when everybody pretty much after that was complete, they all flipped over. They, the they all flipped over the cyberpunk. So this the game cyberpunk. really only had like a development of like four years. And for a game of this scale, with what they were trying to do with it, that's just not enough time. Can you imagine God of War, if the God of War released at, at the four year mark or Red Dead 2? You know, like that's just not, it's not enough time. And they, they really. They really needed another six months, it seems. But I, for some reason, they just had to get this game out now. Yeah. Why? They they really shot themselves in the foot. And their reputation is shot. And it deserves to be shot because they were known to be this pro-consumer friendly developer. That, oh, we, we don't overcharge you for DLC. You want a DLC that's 20 hours of just gameplay for 10 bucks? We got you. We do that. You want, you know, we, we don't give you loot boxes and, 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 and nickel and dime you with microtransactions. All these things that people said about them for so many years and bragged about them and then put them on a pedestal and put them up there with other developers that have far better track records that have been doing it for far longer and for far more games than just one great game like Witcher 3. And they got put on that pedestal and they kind of proved they they didn't really deserve to be there. I'm not saying they're a bad developer or Cyberpunk is a bad game. It's not a bad game. Definitely not a bad game in my opinion. But it's just you can't walk this back. Yeah. When you lie to people and then you come out with a very, like, <laughs> I would say half hearted apology. Like, don't apologize like you didn't know this was going to turn out this way when you intentionally made it so that people wouldn't know this information. You, what you really apologized about is that you didn't realize the backlash would be this bad. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> we, uh, we kind of screwed up there. I mean, look, they, 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 their reputation has taken a hit with the gamers as well as the platform holders because I'm pretty sure Microsoft and Sony are not very happy with them right now. When Sony's got to delist your game like less than a month after launch, when does that ever happen? Except for like what, what, like really, really trash games, right? Like this is weird. When they, I get almost guaranteed that the, the, the waiver that these big time developers get when it comes to certifications with these consoles, I'm pretty sure both Sony and Microsoft snatch that waiver back. We can't trust you no more. Like, so usually, for those who don't understand what I mean, is that when the game gets launched or even updates, updates for a game get, get put in, they gotta get certified. Right. And the reason why that's done is because Sony and Microsoft want to make sure that this thing isn't like breaking. The console is not breaking people's consoles. That your game's good, and so, but they'll they'll test everything. They'll they'll if it doesn't pass, they'll send you a whole bunch of stuff that you need to fix. And some developers get a waiver if you right. if you're good enough. If you're if you you have a high enough reputation that you'll tell Sony or Microsoft, "Hey, look, I'm gonna put my waiver in. I'm good. Okay." I'm going to make sure everything that you're saying, just go ahead and certify me so I can be ready for launch. But by launch, I'm going to have all these issues taken care of. Don't worry about it. I got you. That's There's a level of, of respect and faith that you have in a, in a developer to do something like that. And then for you to come out and you don't get it done, your game is a mess. It's no... It, on, it, I'm sorry. There are parts of, of the screenshots that I've seen of Cyberpunk on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 that look like, I'm sorry, look worse than Xbox 360 and PS3 games. Mm-hmm. This, that's, that, that is inexcusable. Inexcusable. Should not happen. Why are cars flying through the air like this is Inception or something? <laughs> 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 cars are flying through the air people are falling through the mat it's just what are you doing 
you, people are talking to mannequins, NPCs with no faces talking. Yeah, Lip sync off, well, super off. It's just like this is this ain't ready. Why did you push this out and it's not ready? Like this was your reputation really worth the, worth the? I mean, what did you think was going to happen? That you this game wasn't going to sell if it launched in March? Like I just don't get the the mentality of the the people that run C- CD Project. I just don't get it. I don't I don't get why they thought this was a good idea, but. It is what it is, and they they get what they deserve. So, thirteen million. They sold thirteen million. I'm pretty sure that you know publicly they're all like, "Oh, we're so sorry, can't believe we did that." And probably they're like, "Hey, man, we sold thirteen million, though." Yeah, yeah, you know we we still we still doing the thing. Look, we'll we'll patch the game, and they'll 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 all shut up in a few months when when it when it it looks great on all their platforms. So, yeah, so. The, the the bigger question is, um, and I think most people are in this same camp, that this game could never reach the pinnacle of what Witcher 3 did due mm-hmm. to everything that's going on. Not saying that, you know, Witcher 3 was like, <laughs> Witcher 3 was a buggy mess for like the first six, seven months that it was out too, and it officially didn't get its... Um, got tier status until the complete edition came out with all the DLC and once that stuff got released that's when people started talking about Witcher 3 being one of the best you know RPGs of this generation and, and in some people's eyes the best RPG of all time but um, uh, I don't know but I don't I'm know not, that. I, I, not me either I'm not, I'm with you I'm not I'm not saying that with Witcher 3 that. Witcher 3 is the best game of this well I said God of War, but Witcher 3 was probably one of the was definitely the second best game of this generation to me. But some people do. They think that it's one of the best RPGs of all time. And I look at them sideways because there's there's a lot of great RPGs out there that you're putting that up against. But do you think the um you think after time, because we all know time heals all wounds. Now, I know what you're about to say. Do you think ahead. that over time that this all will be forgotten? And I'm going to say no. And here's why. So when when people always bring up how Witcher 3 launched pretty buggy, it was pretty buggy. But then people, you know, look back on it fondly. That's a different CD Projekt Red. CD Projekt Red wasn't put on the pedestal at that time right at that time they had witcher one and two mostly pc you know centric rpg games i thought i never played witcher one but witcher two i i I was i enjoyed the story for what i played of it but i could not get through it the gameplay the combat was just too bad it just it was really bad i couldn't deal with it so that's to me cd project red was just Eh, 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 they're an okay developer. That's the way I kind of feel about them prior to Witcher Three. Now I played Witcher Three. I haven't finished it because I, I, it's just, it's good, great story, great writing, combat's definitely improved, but it just, it, it really just didn't resonate with me that much. That, that maybe that's just me. Now, all that said, they were in a different place than. Right. And they were able to be, due to their reputation, so many people were willing to forgive them based off of their consumer-friendly, hey, we're for the gamer kind of reputation. The reason, this isn't just about the game being a buggy mess at launch, because I think we all, we even, even said it on DPS, you know, weeks ago, we thought this game was going to launch as a buggy mess. Now, no one thought oh, it was going to be this bad. No one thought it was going to be this bad, but we thought it was going to be bad. Now, when it comes out and we and it's proven you've lied to people and all this other now this is this is a different story now because this is a hit towards your reputation and the things that people thought about you they can't say or defend any further so now that part of your reputation you that that can't be forgotten yeah the game might run great a year from now you may they may drop some DLC and that maybe that multiplayer that they're working on might actually really catch on. But your reputation is going to be your reputation. 
now when, when they say, hey, trust us, we 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 don't do we're gonna have microtransactions in that multiplayer, but the, the don't worry about loot boxes. We're not gonna do loot boxes. Like, why would I believe that? Mm-hmm. Why would I believe that you're not gonna have loot boxes? I, I at this point, you're no different than Activision and EA doing post <laughs> post patching in uh things that they said they weren't going to have in games just so they that that stuff can can kind of uh, be be not be in the reviews of that game right you know when when it comes out this just no no you're you're no different than anyone else now so yeah no i, I i'm i'm with you on that i just do think over time a lot of people and i mean a lot of people will never forgive this situation because there's a lot of things that gamers can forgive they can even they can free they could have forgave cd project red for this game being a buggy broken mess at the beginning but once they came out and said that oh well yeah that the the current gen platform you know or previous gen platform it runs really good and come to find out it wasn't running really good. It yeah. runs horrible. Runs and then, surprisingly well. <laughs> surprisingly well. And then and then you come out and say yeah. that. And then it comes out to find out like, oh, you were hiding reviews for current gen platforms. You're only sending yeah. out review yeah. codes for PC. Only for PC. Yeah. So you know that you you put those two things together, it just literally destroys the confidence. No, no, we're racing in the chat said these guys might get sued too. No racer. They are getting sued. Oh, they are They're getting sued. There's a class action lawsuit being put together by gamers for being lied to. Then there's a class action lawsuit being put together by their own investors because they feel lied to. So yeah, yeah you know, they, they might have come off of a lot more money. And I think this won't, this will only end with, the people on the board for CD Projekt Red all resigning and they them getting just a whole new board, a whole new leadership to go for it because you just can't... These hits keep coming. They're going to keep coming until somebody falls on their sword. Yeah, because people... Yeah, it's 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 too much. It's the big... It's the biggest game of the year. Uh, shout out to Xbox for finally getting off the hook with Halo. Now, now somebody else got a bigger fish to go after <laughs> when mm. it comes to like this type of stuff. And, but, and, and, and but before you continue, might I say also a game that with a lot of terrible, terrible crunch. And look at that. So for the, all of those who say, well, crunch is necessary, they got to crunch. They, they have to crunch like this in order to get great games. Well, mm. How'd this turn out? Because <laughs> yeah. uh, they crunched like crazy, and and this is what we got. Crunch oh, yeah. cannot hide bad management. It is what it is. Yeah, and you true. crunch like this because your management sucks. Sorry, not sorry. I'm up. Bye, bye. Go ahead, take your man. No, no, you're good. No, but I, I think, I think this is, I think that there's a good and a bad to this. The bad is, you know, the fact that a lot of people were very, very excited for this game. And and a lot of people are still excited because there are people, like I said, 13 million people that either stay kept the game and didn't return it or went to a store and bought it, especially on the PlayStation store. And, um, you know, because I, I see a multitude of people walk into the store and buy it for playstation now and i would ask them i was like why i said oh, you didn't buy it digital they said no nah, man i can't buy it on the playstation store playstation delisted it and i was like well you do know about all the you say i know about the bugs that mean but i still want to play the game and the thing is a lot of people it's like if you talk it's like i can have a conversation with you slow-mo and you'll tell me like my experience has been okay. It's been pretty mild. I've had some bugs, but I haven't had a lot of them, but there are a lot of people out there having bugs. But if you being a person that I trust, you're not having them. I'm still probably going to go out and still buy the game because I'm still interested in the game. But then there's the opposite side of that of people that have nothing but horrendous situations and things that happen to them. And they're going to be a little bit on the more negative side. So when they tell their friends about it, they're going to be like, no, nah, man, this game is a buggy mess. Don't even worry about it. Get it when it goes on. Don't even buy this game. So 
there's more people enjoying the game than not enjoying the game. And that's why this game is still selling and why people still go out of their way to still purchase it. And then it also helps that Microsoft didn't follow Sony completely suit when it comes to ripping it off their store. So I see Microsoft get a lot of flack about them not following Sony's lead in this, but honestly, I feel like either way, both of these companies are doing the right thing. You know, Sony's doing right by their customers by taking it off the store Xbox is doing the right thing by saying, yo, if you still want to buy this game, it's there for you to buy. We put a disclaimer on the page saying that this game is a working title that does have bugs and it is in a a bad state. But if you do want to purchase this game, you can. And they're both still doing refunds on it. So I think they're they're both doing the right thing in this regard. I just think overall CD Projekt Red should just be ashamed of themselves for allowing this to get to the point that it got to. And all they had to do was just be transparent in the first part. You know, if they would have just said, yo, this game's not going to be ready, you know, they had the ultimate excuse, Slomo, when it comes to COVID. They had the ultimate excuse. Well, so, I mean, they already they already kind of used that. It doesn't excuse. know. It still doesn't. It's delayed still doesn't, from April to, you still, to it's still the, the to situation. What, October and then from October to the, the but, uh, um, but, no, November but, to December. Uh, situation hasn't changed a lot of people thought like if if i was to ask you in april do you think we would still be dealing with the same thing in december you will probably be like no man it's kind of probably passed by now i don't know living in the united states of america you probably wouldn't have but um you know most people would be like no man this is crazy christmas this started in february here so a lot of people kind of thought this would kind of wash itself over or at least be more manageable around this time of year so I think a lot more people would have been more sympathetic for the fact that a lot of people are still working from home. They know that these developers are humans just like everybody else. They do have families like everyone else. And it's hard to put this type of um, this type of game together when there's no checks and balances like they normally are when you're in a in a studio right next to each other. I think they could have at least got another pass. Now, a lot of people would have been pissed off if they would have delayed it again and say, yo, I'm just going to wait for this game. But guess what? They pissed off anyway. They pissed off anyway. So at this point, it's like you just literally put yourself in a worse situation than if you would have just delayed the game for another six months. That's why I kind of feel like it goes back to the money side of it. Like, it's not like they needed the money. But I I don't know what the board was thinking. Like, because I don't think people, people get the about getting paid. They were thinking about that money. But but they put the devs out there. And the devs are the ones that have to kind of suffer from this. But the biggest thing is I'm very, I'm very proud of gamers out there. The ones that are kind of knowledgeable, they know that this isn't a dev thing. Even though when the devs do create this game, they're not the ones that say, ultimately, this game has to come out. So people are really going after the source when it comes to like management for this. And I see that in all these different posts. And um, I just feel bad for the developers that actually did put a lot of time because for the most part, everybody that plays this game and actually can like get through a lot of the stories. And I hear that most of the stuff is in the side missions, not really the base story, even though the story does have issues, it doesn't have the majority of the issues and people that play it like Luca and you and, and a couple other people, uh, Neil Mills said he has 95 hours in. The fact that you could play that game that much and still enjoy it is a testament with, to what kind of game it is and how great the game is. But it's all it's all sully due to the situation that management put the game in. And unfortunately, that's the unfortunate side of the situation. Uh, yeah, I completely agree. You know, they, they, this is a self inflicted gunshot wound, uh, essentially. They did it to themselves and they're just going to have to, uh, to live with the, 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 the uh, fallout from that. Gushes of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Go Halo ahead. Infinite, yo. No, yeah. I was going to push gears yeah, to Halo yeah. Infinite. So, Halo Infinite oh, in 2021, fall 2021, right? 
Fall 2021 is the new release. There's so much stuff. <laughs> Man, Halo. I, I didn't even realize all this stuff for Halo popped up. You know, first uh, we got leaked in posts saying that there's no longer an Xbox One version because there's nobody for the UI developer. They, they, they're they not looking for people to help with the UI for the Xbox One version. Then you got it being speculated that it's been canceled. Then you got 343 promptly coming right out after that got announced that they denied all those reports. Reports. Now, I kind of believe 343 on this one just for the fact that they already in hot water with gamers. And if it comes to find out that this game did get canceled for the original, even though they should cancel it for the original Xbox One, if it comes out to find out that they are lying about this and they actually do cancel it, that's even worse for 343. So I think I, they. I agree that they should cancel it for the old consoles, but I also should. agree that they won't. They, they won't, won't do it. They, they can't do it at this point. It's, 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 it's unfortunate, but they can't. So it looks like, and they, it's been multiple reports on this, that Halo will release this fall in 2021. It's the biggest, now with that being said, slow-mo and everything else, do you even think that's enough time to do what gamers expect this game to be by fall of next year? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm 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 leaning towards a no, but then I can see I can see some reasons why they 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 feel like it's ready to go. So I I remember reading that that Joseph Staten, who is now running the project, and the guy's only been there for like a few months now, but Joseph Staten said that he's played through the campaign twice already, and that there aren't really changing that so i'm like well hmm this is this guy came in he's he's a story right he's a he's a writer this is what he does in gaming for the most part he writes stories and he's written a, a significant number of the hit stories that we've seen from halo and he's not really changing the campaign they probably made the decision that making drastic changes to that will delay the game far beyond 2021 and so instead of doing that they'll probably just have put whatever changes they will want to make into an expansion since it's supposed to be an ongoing game like yeah. uh it, you know like some looter shooters out there are ongoing games like that if that's the oh, case go ahead and say the name of the game you already know what it is hey is there's more than one i'm, yeah, I'm not a want, fan like you so i'm not going to act like that's the only one that's feet. out there anyway there's only one anyway game i'm gonna get feet. back to my point because i'm i don't i don't, I don't, I don't need plan, to be, Slomo, all those other little shooters didn't even make it past if, if, if you can if you can stop being the hoe for destiny for five seconds oh I'd thank you i just want you to say it just okay and so what moving on moving on it's, it's an ongoing game, so they can always put any new uh, story ideas they want into new content to go to go into further expansions. They, they We can see that they, this is uh, not what they want to do for everything in Game Pass, but we see games like State of Decay 2. We see games like Sea of Thieves. These games are always or Forza Horizon. They're, they're consistently dropping new content for their games within Game Pass in order to kind of keep people invested. Whether or not you know that content can keep people invested, and that's a whole different story. But with Halo Infinite, that's your biggest IP. You would they I'm pretty sure they expect that that their newer content should be better than what wherever this campaign is. And when you fire two Multiple people who were run, who were doing the campaign no longer work at three four three, so I'm gonna say this campaign is probably not that great. Now I've already did videos on issues that I saw already. Videos. I, thank you. And I'm just like, why are you doing so many callbacks to Halo Combat Evolved? Like, like people said they wanted to see that old artistic style of the old school Halo. We want to. We don't want to see the same content over and over again, dude. Like, come on. Like, so that's 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 not what we mean. And so, if that's the case, that's unfortunate. But it is what it is. And they they are too far along in development to change all that and still be out next year. So, yeah, I can see that being the case. That what they've been working on really is the visual side of things, the things that people were complaining about, the visuals, even though the story probably needs a lot of work because they, they replace those people as well as the multiplayer because they replaced the guy that was running the multiplayer as well. But 
all that said, the visuals is what when they came out with their blog posts, they were really hammering in that hey, look, we we've we're, all these things that you guys had issues with were work in progress on our brand new engine. So we're 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 going to get that stuff done. And so what I anticipate, what I expect is that after you get that kind of backlash to the point where you delay your game, you better not come out with the game looking visually the way it did when you showed it in September. Right. It needs to be the best looking game on the Xbox Series X. It needs to be like today I watched a digital foundry video. Where they talked about nine of the best looking games that came out in 2020. When this time next year, you better have Digital Foundry listing Halo Infinite as one of the best games visually of 2021. This is where the game needs to be visually yeah. in order for you to meet expectations because Halo has never been an ugly game. It That's may not have been the best looking game to come out in the years that it came out, but it always looked good. And when you already don't have very many first party games that really show off your hardware, when you already have an issue where your hardware on the on the paper, on the spec level is better than your competition, but it's not reflected in the games. And why? Because you're forced to use third parties who have zero incentive to make sure that your console looks great compared to the competition. That's not their job. Their job is to make a game that looks good. And, and, and is, if it's parody, if it's just as equal as the PlayStation five, or maybe the PlayStation five looks better, a little bit better. So freaking be it. It's your fault. Your tools weren't ready. So you need to make sure that your own games actually showcase your console with with Nintendo games. Their games run the best. The be games that run the best on the Nintendo Switch are Nintendo's first party games. They make sure that their games run better than anything else because they know their console with PlayStation. The best looking PlayStation games on PlayStation 4 are all PlayStation first party games because they know their hardware and they make sure that their games are showcasing and showing their console in the best light. This is not rocket science. This is what you got to do. So Halo Infinite has to look like the, I, I they already said it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the best looking Halo game ever. Well, I mean, well, duh. I mean, because like <laughs> your last Halo game came out five years ago. Of course, it's going to be the best looking Halo game ever. But that's not the bar you should be shooting at. You should be saying it's going to be the best looking game you've seen in 2021. And what? That's that's that kind of big man talk where I, you know, like when I grab my balls, I'm, I'm grabbing around the kneecap area. Kind of big man you need to be. I don't want to see this nonsense of, oh, it's the best looking Halo game ever, and even though all of our games are two decades old. Stop it. So, to your point, yeah, if there's a chance they can meet expectations when it comes out next year. Do what will I do? I think it will. No, what I think we're going to get is we're going to get a either a super short or really better than Halo Guardians, but not that great kind of campaign. Hmm. And the multiplayer will probably probably be on point, but visually, it's probably going to really be improved based off of what we see with the, some of these still shots that they showed us. If that's how the game looks in motion, and it can it can keep to a consistent sixty frames per second in the campaign and a consistent one hundred twenty frames per second in multiplayer, all right then, you know, on that at least on that front, you really nail, nailed it right there. So until then, I, I mean, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of hope for the best, but you know how how it is with three four three. I, I there's there's only so much that you can take, and there's only so many times you can be let down before you just kind of just expect the worst. All right. So, <clears throat> oh man, I don't want to rag on them because I did that so much. I did it so much this year; it makes my head hurt. Well, but I mean, uh, they, they asked for it, so they, they <laughs> did. They did. They put themselves. I mean, all Xbox did this. It, it ain't just three, four, three. Xbox was the was definitely a culprit and part of this. For me, um, I agree with you, but the difference is, I don't. If this game comes out this year, I just don't think it can. 
it, it won't live up to expectation. Even if the game is great, it won't live up to expectations just because enough time has not gone by. People, wait, 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 hold on. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Okay, or, 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 you explain what you mean by enough time has you, you think people need to forget this game exists? Yeah, this game cannot, this game needs to be forgotten. I don't, I don't agree with this that. Game, I, it, it needs to be forgotten because. Like the fact that every time you turn your <laughs> your Xbox around, your Series X, if you have one, and you see Master Chief on the back of it, is there? It reminds you that Halo is supposed to be here. Every time you go on Twitter and you see Monster Energy tweet out, "Hey, get this new skin pack that's supposed to be available for your Guardian that you should be playing with right now," it reminds you that Halo was a mess. Every time Halo comes out and make, every time they come out and make a statement about Halo, about it being delayed or being canceled when it comes to the current gen platform or previous gen platform now, or leaked in posts that say that we're not even hiring for the system, it just reminds you that Halo isn't here. Now, is this a situation that I think is going to be? Um, for- see, but, but see, but that's that's like saying. So you're saying. No. The game has to be completely forgotten that it's it's even in in development before. No, they... no, not not that seriously. No, no, because I mean everybody knows that Halo is coming. I mean, I just don't think for what I mean for forgotten, it has to like it literally has to go LeBron J. It has to go zero dark thirty for a while. You you almost don't. You almost have to be like, damn, we haven't heard anything about Halo for a while. I, can you can you officially can you even in your mind think of the last time you didn't think of Halo, like every like yeah, every every like week majority of this of this prior generation. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, this whole but see that was the lead up. That's why people were so excited for Halo because Halo went on a hiatus. It did the, the last one. What Halo Four was what twenty what twenty fourteen. Halo, I thought no, it was, was that, 20, Halo 4 20, was 2012? 2012? Yeah, 2012, right before the generation. 12, and then Halo Guardians was 2015. Was 2015. So nothing from Halo for three years because everybody was wondering, like, oh, we haven't heard anything about Halo because Halo was on an annual three-year release cycle. And nobody had heard anything about Halo, um, Halo 6 or Halo Infinite at this point now. Until they showed it off at E3 that year for the first time, and they did that teaser trailer. Then that's when the you know it was just a teaser trailer. It really wasn't nothing to. That's when people got the whole open at open world from because of the way that the trees and deers and driving warhogs across the. They arena. wanted they wanted to be open world, but they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it because that because they're, they're supporting these old consoles, and for what they were trying to do and the scale. And scope of the game, open world wasn't going to work. So instead of having open world, they got like more like open. It's more like um, open islands, I guess, where there yeah. there there's open areas, but it's not. Well, it's 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 like it's, it's, it's like Dragon Age, like take Dragon Age Inquisition, the the hinterlands and Dragon. Yeah. It's a huge map in Dragon Age Inquisition, but that's not the whole game. That's just right. one big map. There are other. Kind of smaller, sometimes smaller, not as big as the hinterlands, but other different size maps that you travel to all throughout the game. So it's similar to that, but it's not just one big open world where you can just go and just do whatever you want in right. it and, and explore and that kind of stuff. That that's not what people were. Ex- that's what people thought it was going to be. And that's not where it is. And maybe that that was their vision at one point, but it's clearly well, not going to be it now. Thing, that was the vision at one point, and then all of a sudden, expectations started creeping up because they showed the game in 2015 or 26, yeah, 2016. Or whatever they show, I don't know when the heck they show. No, it wasn't 2016. It was 2018. 2018, they showed it. Finally, showed it. Showed this trailer, and they got people um, excited again. And then they showed, like you said, the open world aspect of it. And at that point, people was like, "Oh man, Halo going to probably be open world. That's cool." You know, nobody's thinking that limitations of the current gen platform is going to hold it back because we already have open world games, but you don't know how ambitious this game is going to be because we're in 2018. We're not even well, thinking of what these new systems. Let's keep it buck here. They they made a lot of mistakes in development here. Big, the well, biggest, the biggest mistake, mistake I think they made was yes, I was just about to say that. That's the biggest. 
cannot switch engines. And yes, maybe at some point they thought the idea of what Halo Infinite was going to be changed. Right. Instead of it being just a stand another standalone Halo game, they said, no, we're going to go ongoing game. So it's because we're going to go ongoing game. We don't want to license Epic's Unreal Engine for 10 years. Let's make our own engine and just build off of that. That's great. But you know what? You should have thought about that before you were in development on this game for three years. Yeah. Now, so what you should do is make one more standalone game and then have another team working on your your slip space engine as well as working on this on on the the ongoing game halo and then start it out that way every time every single time i've seen a developer switch engines mid development it has been a train wreck yep every time doesn't matter who the, who the developer is every time they've had to do that train wreck and, and when 343 is, has not established themselves as being a, a developer that had a solid culture and a solid uh, a workflow that absolutely worked with games that universally were looked at as like, that's a great game, great job, got you guys. Like, to have them do that, very, very short sighted, bad idea. And so I know we're kind of getting into things that we've been said multiple times already about, right. about Halo, but. I just kind of feel it's not impossible for this game to be successful in 2021. It's I I just I maybe my expectations have lowered and I, and that's unfortunate. Um at least for the campaign. I yeah. based off of what I know now know that they're not changing the campaign that Staten is like I played through it twice already. Like I almost so you're not changing it. You're not changing the campaign at this point because it's okay. just if you're changing the campaign you you got you gotta get you gotta get voice actors back in. You gotta get you gotta get performance capture done all over again, mocap done again. You gotta get cutscenes redone. You got there, there's a there's a if you're changing the story at this point, there's a lot of change. There's a lot of additional work that has to get done, and I don't think that's the case here. I think what's happening here is they're they're visually doing for this game what. CD Projekt Red is trying to do for Cyberpunk right now. Hmm. Except they haven't shown us the game, which is at least is a, a, a W on their side. They haven't shown us too much of it to to make us go, what in the world? <laughs> I mean, we've seen Craig, but and and draw distance, but that's about as, as as long as my finger. But you know, we haven't seen you know cars flying through the air and you know T poses all over the place and. And and people falling through the map and all kinds of stuff. So right, yeah. yeah so I don't know, man. I I think that I think it's just a mistake to release the game this year. I just think now if the game is, they're just risking a lot because I just feel like the eyes, so many eyes. I mean, not saying that a lot of eyes ain't gonna be on it whenever it release, but it's like you're so close. It's like you're so close to the sun. You haven't even given yourself any distance to get away from it yet. It's like you're literally saying, I'm going to turn right back around and head right back into the fire pretty, pretty quickly. Now, uh, who knows how we feel a year from now? A year from now, we might see some pretty, uh, pretty uh, exciting things from Halo that will get people excited again. And I think that's kind of going to be the build up throughout next year because they're going to definitely build up that. They, hype be- they better not. They better not show it until the visuals and that's, of this game yes. look basically one for one on how it's going to look at launch. Yeah, like, and, that, and that's what I that's what I'm yeah. afraid of, and that's what I'm afraid of right there. They, they, they're going to show it too early again. Oh man, that's, a, I that's think, the next the thing, level of no, confidence I, that they do that. I I think they are. I. I they're gonna show that th- look, man. They're gonna show that game again. Now, when they show it, I mean, when it's too early, I, I mean, who knows? Are we gonna have an E3 next year? Who knows at this point? We don't know. I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I'm gonna th- say no. Yeah, yeah, probably not. But it just, it just really just comes back to the fact that it's just a shame that we have this this great console with 
I mean, you can't say there's no games on it, but there's nothing that Microsoft produced that is on it that, you know, that's new, I should say, mm. you know, because Gears, Gears High Buster is pretty cool. I mean, yo, have you played that yet? Yo, yo, bro. Have you played it? No, not yet. I need oh to play Oh, my it. God, though. It's, it's just like I don't have I don't have an Xbox anymore. Technically, it's still, still crossplay. I know it's cross. I know it's crossplay, but I so my I on I haven't played through Gears Five on PC, and I got some buddies uh, that was like, "Oh, we want to play Gears Five finally." So I'm like, "All right, I'll play with you guys on PC." And I haven't they haven't done that yet, so I haven't done that yet. So well, do probably it, me, me, you can go through it. I I'll I'll love to go through the cat because I haven't beat Gears Five yet. Okay, wait, wait, all right, look. Um, but then the next, I mean, I'm off work from now until January, the first week of January. So yeah, we, we can run through it and then do high busters. Cause, cause I, I definitely want to play it. Cause I've seen a lot of people, yeah, I've seen some good feedback from people on it. Yeah. Um, it, so. it's visually. Oh yeah. Visually like it, it almost restores a little bit of confidence that rod with rod not being there. Cause it kind of shows that. Yeah, Rod is the backbone of the Gears franchise when it comes to what he's been doing with Xbox. Mm -hmm. But the fact that they were able to bring this out without him being there and also live up well, to kind of certain they they've been working on this for a well, I mean been how, working on it for a while. I yeah, mean, I mean, if you got a story expansion, I'm pretty sure Rod was there when they started working on that. I, he I probably okay it and stuff. Huh? Yeah, he's okay, but how long he been gone now? Like a year. Yeah, I mean that's that's still a lot of stuff that happens in a year. Yeah, I, I, I I'm I I'm think okay. I mean, so when did gears come out? Gears came out. The skeleton, the skeleton was already there. Gears we, came I, out last year, right? Gears five, uh, yes, twenty nineteen. Yeah. This high busters DLC was in development before the game launched. I can almost guarantee. It probably it. was. It probably was. Yeah. So but Rob was still there when they when I, they I came out. It, I just think it shows a little bit of it gets. It gives people a little bit more confidence that they can do it without Rod there. I, it just depends on what they do with the next game. Is I think going to be the ultimate tell. But no, the DLC by itself is like visually, it is what the it is the reason you buy an Xbox. Visually, mm. the, See, only, that, the only problem is that's what I'm talking about. See, that's what they need more of. And I'm glad the coalition. The coalition. I mean, they make visually. They've always yeah. Impressed. With with uh with their game, so I'm glad to see that there is a first party Xbox Game Studio developer that is showcasing what the hardware is capable of. That's that's great. That's great. I'm glad how Busters is doing that. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna yeah. we yeah we need to definitely. So I'm thinking maybe um we we pick a day and we can um uh, go through it. We stream it on our channels and stuff. Play stream or playthrough. Hey, let's do it. Yeah, we can definitely do that, man. Because I definitely want to get. Because I, I do want to go through the campaign because I haven't finished it. And if I can do it with somebody that I can literally make fun of as I'm doing where, it. Where did you make fun of? Hold up, yeah, sir. Ho hold up. I, I don't know about that. Okay. So that. I like how you was about to ask something, then you just literally heard that. Yeah, yeah because like if, if I'm picking you up every five seconds, it ain't, it ain't gonna be no making fun of me. All right, what are you about to ask me though? Um, where were where did you leave off in the campaign? Um, chapter, um, chapter two, act no, act two, chapter three. But I'll start over. I'll start all the uh, way. Over. Okay, so you didn't even get to the big reveals and I, I, I didn't get there. I heard that's where they start at, but it was like I was playing with I was playing with uh, Enrique and uh, Mooch, and they See, that, that, that's the problem right there. Yeah, right I was, there. I was playing with a you was playing with yeah. Enrique. Yeah, I was playing Enrique, with Enrique, who falls asleep at the drop of a hat. Enrique, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That probably was a problem right there. But yeah, I <laughs> then work caught up with me. Then I just started going back in Destiny. So yeah, I definitely want to get into it. If we're gonna do it, we'll, we'll set up. We'll set up some stuff on Twitter, and we'll let people know when we're gonna do it, so we can, um, you know, get some people in there to actually enjoy it and watch us play and stuff. But yeah, we'll set that up over the course of the next couple of weeks and see what we're gonna do it. But um. All right, so we got one more one more um, topic after this one, uh, but I do want to segue to this one thing since we're talking about you know how games are buggy and crap like that. Um, it looks like gamers have really turned a corner when it comes to like accepting what you know a buggy game really is and not wanting to buy this stuff at day one. Um, 
you've seen it in the user reviews of cyberpunk you've seen it in other games you just seen a vocal the vocal the people have been very very vocal about this what do you think this is going to do to the industry what do you think developers are going to take away from this type of um how gamers have been very outspoken about this do you think anything's going to change or do you think it's pretty much going to stay the same um hmm i know it's thought isn't it (laughs) yeah i think i think a lot of publishers are going to kind of pause their some of their uh very uh we would say um egregious plans based off of what has happened with cd project red um and how things can turn on you cause it, and, and not necessarily how gamers feel about it because they don't care about how we feel about it it's right. the money loss yep. and how much money cd project red has lost based off of this and how if your game is is really bad that you can get your game delisted off the biggest platform out there for your game so i think that's something that might actually go give them a little pause I'm not saying they're going to completely change because they're not they they may they may realize hey look maybe we need to delay this game one more time <laughs> right. before just jumping out there um i think something that uh sergeant 12 in the chat said about um ex developers from some of these bigger studios um branching out because they hate the direction these publishers are going and doing their own thing. I think we're going to see a lot more of that than necessarily publishers not pulling a CD Projekt Red on this. I, I think I, it wouldn't surprise me at all if a lot of CD Projekt Red devs start leaving and starting their own studios to, to do things their way mm-hmm. and to not have to deal with the, the foolishness that, that comes from leadership on top. We've seen it with uh, multiple smaller indie developers branching up out of uh the 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 sinking ship that is bioware Mm -hmm. we've seen the same thing with blizzard um yeah i mean like that's and and these are talented developers as sergeant 12 mentioned uh game science is the developer for black myth wukong and they were all former tencent employees yeah so you know the talent is there it's just getting the talent to be able to show off their creative uh, freedom and the quality that they can make without having it being watered down or neutered by a publisher that only sees, well, you know, these kind of games sell. So can you make this kind of game instead of what you're making right now? Right. And, Cause that, that's the, the crap that, that just keeps happening over and over again. This is crap we see from Ubisoft games where they, they get all samey because, well, our games sell like this. So this is what we're going to keep doing until it doesn't work no more and people are sick and tired of it. And then your games don't sell. Then you want to switch gears as quickly as possible. Well, it's a little late for that. But mm-hmm. so I I think we're going to start seeing a lot more indie, indie developers popping up with a lot of uh, interesting content in the future. And we may not see another situation as bad as this cyberpunk situation, but pff, don't expect to see this to be like, oh, we've learned to, we've learned, to, we learned from our ways. We won't ever do what they did again. Right. <laughs> yeah. Man. No, I, I, I agree with that 100%. You know, I just wanted to really ask you that question because I know uh, a lot of people here are really a, you know, you you talk about this stuff a lot, of, even on your channel and stuff. And I know people really value your opinion when your thoughts on stuff like this. So it's good to know that you know overall, gamers are really stepping up to actually go against you know the fray when it comes to this stuff because it's hard not buying a game or supporting a game that you are a hundred percent you know, excited for, um, but it, it means more when you actually take a stand and, you know, you let your wallet do a speaking. Mm-hmm. Um, ultimately, that's the only thing these developers and these publishers, what well, I ain't gonna say developers, but publishers really, um, that's what they, that's what they want from you. You know, every, every last one of us is a dollar sign, a piggy bank, you know, a Wells Fargo. That's, that's, that's what we are to these developers, to these publishers. And the moment that you close your bank to them, 
is the moment that they start listening to what you got to say. And um, I think this is just a, a big first step in that direction. And um, uh, the mo- and the moment I knew is when Luca was, re- oh, she, you know, shout out to Luca again. She was doing her, she was doing her scum one-on-one and she was reading comments from her cyberpunk video when she was talking about it. And then she went and looked at the user reviews and I've never heard her so excited about just watching gamers do what gamers are supposed to do, which is, you know, go against the situation, go against the man per se, when it comes to the, um, the direction of these games. So that that's really all I got to say about that. But, um, overall it's a good thing to know. Yeah. Yeah. I agree, man. Definitely. But, uh, Mm. Yeah, hey, uh, let's 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 roll into that last topic real quick. So yeah, my wife just in- walked in and asked me. She was like, "You make make sure you wake me up because I you got to go get the get the kids gifts out of the out of the trunk." Oh uh, man, it, have you wrapped them yet? <laughs> oh, the, well, majority of them are wrapped, but you know how it is on the night before. You mm-hmm. know, with, with the kids being home, it's kind of hard to sneak stuff in the house. So there's a couple of things in the car that got to still be wrapped. So I'll probably be up for a while tonight doing that while they sleep. Yeah, I'm all done on that so, on that front. So I'm, I'm that's yeah, good I'm pretty much done. I only got it's only like five or six things, but um, yeah, moving moving this conversation on to the last topic, um, <laughs> most anticipated game. I mean, we're we're pretty much starting this conversation all over again. You know, last year Cyberpunk was a lot of people's most anticipated game on top of Halo, and we kind of see where that went. What is 2021 going to bring to us, Sloma? What What are your most and, and anybody in the chat? What is your most anticipated game for 2021? What are you guys looking forward? Just to? one game? No, games in general. It could be as many as you want, but what games All are right. you guys looking forward to? I don't think you could really pick one because half these games we don't even know if we're coming in 2021. But I actually um, was going to make a video about this actually, but I'll, yeah. I'll go ahead. I'll go because my, my list might change by the time I, I make the video. Yeah. Um, my most is five, so top five, fine. top five most anticipated games. Yeah. Number five is God of War, uh, God of War Ragnarok. I mean, mm-hmm. it's, it's five because one is God of War, so definitely, I'm definitely anticipating it at, after the last one, but I don't know how big it is. It like it might be pause, it might be like a Miles Morales. Kind of game, considering how quickly this is coming out after the previous God of War. So, but even that, if it, regardless of that, I'm probably still going to be down for day one, regardless. But that's that's one I'm looking forward to, especially considering how God of War ended with you know the whole Thor stuff. So uh, th- that's good. Number four is Deathloop. I mm-hmm. I'm really interested in, in Deathloop, the whole premise of the game, how it, it it's it's been set up. Ar- Arcane Studios really seems to have uh, a potential gem with this one, and I like the fact that they're doing something different. That you could, you got all these targets to take down while you're also being hunted by another, like hunter, and then how you take those targets down, or how you your actions have a have a, an effect on the decisions that other enemies in the game or other targets may have going forward so like you gotta be really strategic in how you you operate all that stuff is is awesome the gunplay looks awesome i'm just i'm I'm really into that one Mm. so um and also i'm thinking with the way this dual sense controller is Mm -hmm. if arcane studios really puts a lot of i I need to see because i got two controllers if the PC version has the same features of the DualSense controller that the PS5 version has. I'll get it on PC, but if it doesn't, I'm probably going to get it on PS5. Just because that's that added level of immersion in a game is just going to be there. But all right. Anyway, number three, I would say, would be Keener Bridge of Spirits. Okay. Because yeah. that game looked great. Um, I think Ember Lab is going to be... Because if, if this game, gameplay-wise, plays as well as it looks... They're, they're, that, that's a that's a sleeper studio for their first game to come out and it be that good. That's going to be something that's going to be just just blow people's minds. Like it could be like a a low key dark horse contender in the video game awards later later next year. So I, I I think I'm really interested in that one. And then number two is Outriders because 
I want to play a game where I can actually like really get some build diversity on the looter side of things where I can just really go wild with different abilities and stuff. And Outrider seems to have that. And it also is not an ongoing game. So I can play it. And when I'm done with it, I'm done. And I can just, and, and, and the bit, the best thing about that is that the content isn't designed in a way that forces you to keep in order to fully enjoy it. You got to keep playing it you know, for months and months and months when they don't want you to keep playing the game or give you live service content, they design it in a way where you can finish it pretty quickly Mm -hmm. and be satisfied with it. And so that's what I'm looking forward to. And then, um, I don't know if this is number one or not, but you know what? I already know what number one is. Halo Infinite, man. Okay. I'm going to have to, like, I'm anticipating. I'm a Halo fan. I want yeah. this game to be the best Halo it can be. So it's so it's uh, it's my most anticipated game, not because I think it's going to be great, but just the game that I'm, I want to play, the, see the most. Now, there are some other games that I didn't list because they're slated for 2021, but I don't think they're actually going to make it to 2021. I think they're going to get delayed. Um, okay. But yeah, that's it. Yeah. What about you, man? Yeah. So I'm probably going to be a little bit more generous with mine because there are games that I do think are going to move, but there's nothing else that really excites me, but those games and that those games just happen to fall out the year. They fall out the year. Uh, so my number five, um, my number five would actually be uh, Elden Ring. I I do think that game that game is coming out next year. I, I don't think it's coming out next you year. You don't think it's coming it, out next year? It, it, I that would have be- been that would have been in my list, but I don't think it's coming. I think if that game was really coming out next year, we would have seen it this year. We would have saw true. something from it. That's true. That's true. I I just do every time I see that trailer, I'm like, oh my god, I need this game. But um, that game. It, 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 I don't even know anything about it, but I, it just interests the hell out of me, and um, it's definitely up my alley when it comes to the type of games that I like to play, um, sparingly throughout time and stuff. Uh, so outside of that, then um, my number four, and maybe this is where mine is going because a lot of the games that I think are not going to make it in twenty twenty one are towards the bottom of it, which is um, why Ragnarok, if it was coming out next year would be my most anticipated game next year because god of war is the only reason i own a ps5 let's be for real so um the fact that i don't even i I don't think that game's coming out next year but a lot of signs keep saying that it is and and i just don't know how sony's going to pull it off with i mean can you imagine their 2021 if they actually do you're talking about ratchet and clay you're talking about Horizon Zero Dawn, you're talking about Ragnarok, you're talking about Deathloop, Tokyo Go. Dog, can you their lineup would just be ridiculous in 2021 if all those games actually released on top of games like third party, um, exclude, I mean, yeah, third party like Returnal and stuff like that. And um, I forget with some other games, um, Project Athea and stuff like that. It's like they got a bunch of games that are coming to that. It, it's pretty incredible. So, um, mm-hmm. I guess there's a lot of other reasons why I'm only a PS5 other than God of War. Um, number three, Mass Effect is probably a dang shame, but Mass Effect three. And that oh was man, how did I forget that? I don't you know. know. You know what? I, I maybe know. I mentally kind of put it aside because it's a, because it's a it's a remaster of games. Wow. It's a given. I'm going to play it, but like I I could I wow I can't believe I, no, man, I couldn't believe you I, when you said when you was like I don't know if I want to say it. I, I thought you was going to say Mass Effect. I thought you was going to say just, it. I but I, I I just when you when you proposed the question, I looked at it as nothing but like i'm looking at just new games i'm just looking at games in general <laughs> makes sense makes sense yeah i'm yeah. just looking at games in general Ma- mass effect to me is the only reason it's not number one is because it's a remake i do want to see new things um and the two games that are in front of this game for number um number um two and three 
are games that I'm really, really super excited for. Um, the whole question is, are they going to actually release next year? But um, yeah, man, that I, that is probably the game I'm looking forward to absolutely the most because I know it is coming out next year. And if I have to give a caveat to that, I know I think I think the uh, Final Fantasy the next part is either this year or next year. That would be up there too, but I think that's truly going to mm, nah, make next I don't think year. That's, I think that's coming out in 2022. I th- yeah, I think that's coming 2022. But um, if I had to go with the, just like you said, you had Halo. If, if it was coming out, it would be my number one next year. If it was coming exactly, out. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Now, if now if I went to number two, number two is your number one, which is Halo. And we're in the same boat there. I don't think it's coming out next year, but that's only because I'm selfish and I I don't want that game to come out because I feel like if it comes out next year, it's not going to be what people want it to be. I just want the game to be great. If the game does release next year, I'm going to be excited. I'm going to want to play it, but I just don't think the game's going to be received as well unless they completely knock it out of the park. Like They have no margin for error with that game if they release it next year. That's just how I feel about it, how I think about it. But uh, I'm very excited to play the game because, like we said, someone we don't make any bones about it. We really, truly loved what we saw from the gameplay. We were in the stream when we we streamed it. We like, though, the gameplay looked fire. Those visuals can kick rocks. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I still, I have, I still cannot believe the they the design of that that enemy at the end of the of the of the yeah. script. Yo, that was some brute force looking muddy texture. Look like what yeah. is that? I just, dude with the with the 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 funny looking sharp teeth. I'm like, bro, th- who made that? That how did that pass? I don't get it. Like, uh, yo, it's yeah, but gameplay. Yes, the game, the actual. It, it looked like Halo. It looked more like actual Halo gunplay and movement. Than yeah. any any three four three Halo I've seen, yet, and that's why I, I liked to buy because it got me thinking about old school Halo when Bungie was making the games again. But visually, good grief! Visually, st- the 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 callbacks like stop. Can you come up with some original ideas? How many times Chief guy be crashing on the Halo ring and taking down three <laughs> enemy points? Like this is that's the exact same mission from Halo Combat right. Evolve. The yeah. exact same mission, bro. Yeah. How many it, times is Chico gonna get bad. woken up from cryo sleep or or whatever like uh, exosuit uh um armor sleep that they did? You know, there's no different than him being woken up in in Combat Evolve. Like, bro, stop, stop. Yeah. Like, if if this is what you're showing us. How many? How much more of these callbacks do you have going on in the game? Yeah. So no, I agree. So by number one, and somebody in the chat said it. Ryan Landis said it. Number one, if it releases next year, and it and 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 I'm starting to think this whole Switch Pro thing is really true because where there's smoke is fire, because I think this Switch Pro thing is is legit. I think they are literally going to make a new Switch. It's going to be more powerful. Um, the rumors are it's going to be 1440p while it's docked. And um, that and, and if that's the case, 1440p, 60 frames per second, they already doing better than Xbox and PlayStation to me because that's what you should be aiming for as a console maker instead of trying to, you know, do the whole 4K 60 frames per second. If you can do it, that's fine. But if you can't, 1440p is just as good. It, it, it almost mm-hmm. looks better in some instances because you could turn up the texture quality and make everything look better. But right, right. but the case to the matter being is if Breath of the Wild 2, because it's being rumored that that is coming and it's being rumored that it's going to release alongside the new system. If that is a thing, that is literally the only game I will play next year. <laughs> that, that, is literally, until I beat that game that will be the only thing i play i put over 150 hours in breath of the wild one dlc and everything love that game it he, was- you imagine if the, hey, there's the one thing that i do have to i know some people will be like miss lomo so negative so so what I'm, I'm keeping it real here look when's the last time nintendo has been consistent 
on oh, on platforms. They will drop some heat, and the very next one will be a dud. They yep. will go back to dropping some heat. The very next one will be a dud. That the we was 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 a great idea for the time it hit at the right moment. Then they did Wii U, and it was like, what are you thinking? That's stupid. Now they they said Wii U sucked. They they cut ties with it quickly, very quickly. Two years. They moved on in two years. They was like, no what? No, we, we don't we don't know what, what's a Wii U. We don't even know what that is. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Came out with the Switch, blowing up like crazy. It, Nintendo was due. Nintendo was due for another WTF moment. Like it's it's it, I'm telling you, it ain't gonna be man. this next switch. It ain't gonna be the Switch Pro. Dude, it ain't gonna it be might, the Switch Pro. Look, man, this thing might come out and they may call it the the ditch, and you'd oh, be like, right. okay, wait, what? Wait. they changed. Like, now that's the only caveat I'll give you. If they change the name and name it something crazy that makes <laughs> absolutely no sense, then all vets is off. <laughs> <laughs> call it the snitch. Like, what, what are you doing? Why, why are you calling it that? Why is it called the snitch? You don't know. Eh, you know. Hey, oh, hey, okay. hey instead, instead of having the Joy Cons, we're going to give you something completely different that is even worse. Like, wait, 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 what? What's happening? Like, you had the whole mobile thing going. Wait, wait, no, this one's not mobile at all. Like, what, what, what are you doing, Nintendo? Like, this is, they're, they're due for their WTF moment. It happens every other platform so although although the switch pro seems like a great idea come up with another version of the switch that's way more powerful that can actually you can reliably get some multi-plats at launch on it and not have to have all the multi-plats that everyone plays on something else finally showing up six to a six months to a year later yeah completely gimped because it has to run on really outdated crap like have something that like looks at 1440p. You got NVIDIA as your your your, as your chip partner. maker as your partner. NVIDIA can make some good stuff. Allow them to. NVIDIA was trying to give them better hardware for the switch. They was like, no, you can keep all that great stuff. We'll take all this old out old outdated crap you don't even want to use no more. Like, no, like they they if they did that, that'd be great. That would be a great idea for the switch oh, for, for Nintendo. But yeah, again. Would. What would be a great idea for them to do ain't necessarily what Nintendo's going to do. That's so. that, uh, look, until it happens, it happens. Until we see it, I, I agree with you 100%. If Breath of the Wild does release next year, no matter what, I'm still there because I'm going to still put, I'm still going to play it until. Yeah, true. Now, I, I do think off. Breath of the Wild 2 is still going to come out next year because Nintendo keeps everything close to the vest. Yes. We won't know about Breath of the Wild 2 until they just like, hey, Two days from now, we're gonna have a Nintendo Direct. Hey, Breath of the Wild Two coming out next month. Like what? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? like two, in the, within two days, now all of a sudden we got a, another Zelda coming out in the month. Like that's just how they roll. Like what? Like Metro Prime, you know, Metro Prime Four coming out in fall. Like wait, what? Really? I right. thought about that's how they they, they got that's, a good cadence when it comes to the Nintendo Directs at this point now. It's True, like every yeah. time a Nintendo Direct come on, it's like, okay, what the hell? You all, it's like people that are really into Nintendo, you have a legit reason to be excited at every Nintendo event. Now, uh, some of them are duds because they don't announce anything, but for yeah. the most part, every Nintendo Direct, you're like, what are they going to announce? Because it's like you never know. It's literally like playing Russian Roulette, but the only difference is everybody wins in their game, their version of Russian Roulette. So it's, I, Look, that that's that literally when I found out that it is more than likely coming out next year, jumped to the top of my um, most anticipated game list. A, another makes- reason why it, I'm, I'm, I didn't mean to cut you off, but, no, but, but <laughs> another reason why I think it's definitely going to be next year, as well as a bunch of other Nintendo content, is that they had a really dry year this year when it came to content. Oh, yeah, yeah they did. They did. Even though the system just kept selling, but dr- 70, super dry. 70 something million. Yeah, but super dry this year when it came to first party games. And this is kind of the reason why I think the Switch was so successful is that they were able to create some hardware that other third party developers actually wanted to work on for once Mm -hmm. and not just their internal studios. And so that additional third party content and opening it up and like you go into the the to the the eShop and it's just 
there's games galore all over the place. They, they got games come. There, there's a ton of indie titles on it, as well as other games that other people enjoy on the platforms on it, to the point where people are like, oh man, Dragon Quest Eleven. You know, I wouldn't mind playing that on the mobile. You know, I play through it again. Uh, you know, when when I on my well, switch. I had a well, customer ask me that. I had a customer literally ask me that yesterday at work. It was like. They were talking about crap. Was it Crash? Was it Crash Bandicoot 4? Yeah, they were talking about Crash Bandicoot 4. And they were like, um, where do you think I should play this? You know, I have a PlayStation. I have a I have a Switch. And they were like, I don't know if I want to play it on a couch. Do I want to? Well, I said, well, that's your answer right there. Do you ever want to play this on your TV? And if you if if the answer is yes, then get it on your PS on your PS4. But if you ever want to take this on a go. The switch is where you want to be because you can do both. And she right, was like, right. she was like, yeah, that makes sense. I was like, if you ever want to take a game on the go, and then I said, you know, and, and and the biggest thing is, a lot of people are willing, willing to sacrifice the um, the fidelity of the game to take it on the go. Like that's the thing a lot of people are, that a lot of people aren't realizing with the switch, like. You understand that this game is not going to run as well as it runs on a PlayStation 5 or a, or a PS4 or Xbox One X or whatever. You know that's the case. But the trump card is I can take this game anywhere I go. And that for a lot of people, especially if you do you you're you're a person that you know is on the go all the time, that's a that's a, that's a selling point right there. And it's a reason that Nintendo damn near sells 80 million consoles. They probably are at 80 million by the time this holiday season is up. Um Artemis um made a good point. He asked, he said, will the Switch Pro be considered a mid-gen upgrade or be considered a next gen, which will be the 10th gen? Well, it's already uh the 10th gen because people don't understand this. The Wii, the Wii U, they abandoned so early in the generation. That was that system was actually considered the system that was supposed to compete with the Xbox One and the PS4. That mm. system came out a year earlier than all those systems. So that was their ninth gen system. When they switched over to the Switch in 2015 or 2017, that that technically started the 10th generation. Nintendo just, you know, came in the middle of it. So that's why Everybody always says, well, Nintendo already won this generation because they're up 70 million consoles already compared to the competition. So if they do make a Switch Pro, it would be a mid-gen refresh for them in the 10th generation, which would literally propel them to, I I ultimately believe they'll pass PS, PS4 in sales. I think the Switch is in such a, on a, such a trajectory where that thing can't be stopped. The only thing will stop it is if so, Nintendo stops producing systems. At this point, because you because the thing is, it's it's monumental. It's a uh, it's very good tech. That's, it's that's, very that's, good. that's also another reason why they don't need to come out with a switch pro or the next thing. anytime they, soon. They don't need the, to. The, the switch is being so successful right now. Just doing uh, uh, more uh, iterations on it, like how they improve the battery life with the, the latest version or come out with the light, which, you know, gives uh, people a cheaper option just without the ability to turn it into a console just stuff like that they could continue to keep doing okay. that and iterating off of it and because if if, the, if it wasn't as wildly successful as it turned out to be i'm pretty sure we would see a switch pro or something like that oh, we would year. already see it but yeah but they, they they got no incentive to go j yep. jump out there with something right now they can take their time they could like they can make sure that they got the right hardware for it they can make sure that it's exactly what they want it to be and, 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 and they don't need to rush. The, and that's kind of the best case scenario, because you know what? You're absolutely right. So and what he's saying, because the biggest thing is right now, they don't have to make it. If you see a switch pro this year, if the switch pro releases this year and all these rumors are true, is they made this system knowing they didn't have to make it. They literally made this for game. They they literally made that for everybody that's in this party. Me and Slow Mo, they made it for everybody in this chat. They don't have to do this. If they bring it out this year, they're doing it because they want to give you something better. And I think that is probably going to be something that's going to get overlooked that Nintendo probably won't get a don't won't get praise for. But I think, I think if they do, I think that's the biggest the biggest problem. I think I think the reason why they really want to say not pushing it and not rushing it out is that if you want to keep that that 
hybrid portable handheld slash console concept and the the niche that they found in the in the video game and market where they're the only ones that really do that so you could you could be both it could do both and therefore you you kind of get the best of both worlds and right. you're you're getting something that only really the xbox is really trying to compete in with, with x cloud on mobile phones stuff like that right um the problem with coming up with a more powerful version of that is cooling is in having something that looks nice is is small enough that someone wouldn't mind putting it in a case or taking it with them on the go and yet at the same time isn't burning their hands right because even now well i i i, I sold my switch but when I ha- had the switch, I remember playing Rogue Company on it, and it does not. Rogue Company does not perform well on it at all. Um, mm-hmm. It's it, it's it's it hits sixty frames per second. I, I'll give it that, but otherwise, it, it's it's a it's a mess. But <laughs> that thing was so hot that I said, you know what? Pulled out the kickstand, put it up on the table, grabbed the Switch yeah. Pro controller, and was just like, I can't touch it. Cause it's, it's too hot, it, you know. It's, it's too it, it, it does hot, fly. and so so like there, and that's with really outdated hardware. When you have such a small form factor, that that exhaust has to go somewhere yeah. to run high quality games on such a small platform. This is the reason why when you see some of these f- mobile phones and you you see them running using like say like the X Cloud does 720p 60 frames per second uh it, it, we don't know how many how many settings are or are, are on but on your phone your phone screen is so much smaller than a switch screen right like you need to have a certain level it, yeah it's outdated but you need to have a certain level of visual of visual fidelity for it to really not look like a piece of garbage and a lot we, we talk we say it all the time where like some games on switch drop down to like 480p standard definition kind of stuff but a better version of that you're looking at minimum 1080p you're looking at like expectation is something like an xbox series s yeah. level of 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 visuals Which whereas the ap the 1440p at 60 frames per second that's what you want and to get that in a small form factor like that i don't know i mean like, i know alienware came up with some you know and everyone was like oh alienware trying to trying to compete with switch that's the kind of vapor where i'm talking about the kfc console being where's <laughs> that alienware switch now there ain't nobody heard from it since it, it's a concept thing but the Alienware thing probably it, it, it would try to get mass produced. You would see some issues with it. There'd be some some crashes with it because right. the, the push what they were saying it, it would it would be capable of doing in that small form factor. Yo, where is that heat going? Where is it going while you're holding it? Right. <laughs> like it, they, these are things that gotta get worked out. And so, yeah, I, yeah. I'm with you. Um. Um. Sky uh, Sly Crow says they need to port all the Trail Code Steel games on the Switch, and I, I'm with him on that. But, I actually uh, just bought that uh, for the first time. I know uh, Kofi. Uh, shout out to Kofi. Um, yeah, I know Kofi uh, talked to you about it when he was on what Brap that time. He was talking about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, I finally I had it on my my uh, my wish list for Steam for the longest time because I was talking to him about should I just play it on PlayStation or Steam. Because I said I wanted to play it all on Steam and not PlayStation, and I said, but it was like I think the first one was on a deep sale on PSN, and I was like, can I just play the first one here and then play the next one on the two on on PC? And he was like, no, just play them all on PC. So I was like, all right. So they finally hit a big sale. I think it was like twenty bucks. So I got the first one. I'm gonna start playing it pretty soon. But uh. Yeah, yeah, those games are like everyone that talks plays those games talk about how how quality they are. So I'm really looking forward to it. Oh man, uh, go ahead and get that super chat. Uh, so okay, I'm Artem is over here saying just want to donate the show twenty dollars, but shout out to you for that twenty dollar donation. Just want to donate the show to show to the show because this man slow mo selling all his game consoles, trying to stay current, missing out on Gears and Switch, great games. Um, I'm not missing out on Gears. This Gears is on PC, so I got that. 
and, you and, and, great and Switch games. Well, 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 wait, really? Because if I if there were some great games that I was looking forward to on Are Switch, you buy a Switch I would not. Year? No, because you don't like Breath of the. You didn't. You didn't. No. Didn't die with Breath of the Wild. No, no, I don't care about that. I don't great, care about Breath of the Wild one or two. Game, which was a great game. Look, literally, I can I can count on one hand the number of times I played the Switch this year. That's why I sold it because it was just like it was just collecting dust on my desk, and I'm like, you know what? Let's make something off of this. So yeah. now, now look, I have will have no problem buying another one if it comes out with a game that I can't. Like a game I can only play on the Switch that I absolutely have to play, but uh, I kind of doubt that. So I feel you, you know, Artemis. I, I truly appreciate that, man. You know, um, especially since your boy did. I, I told you someone that we we just um, we just clo- we didn't close on it, but we our appraisal went through for our house. What? No, you oh, didn't tell me that. Congratulations, I, man. Yeah, we really talked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our appraisal for our house. We we we're about to move um we're about to move it's about seven minutes from our house so it's not that far away but um man i know you know about this but buying a home first mm-hmm. time is the most nerve-wracking thing you can ever like i learned so much about how slimy and how crazy the the realtor market is when it comes to Bro, buying stuff the realtor market the lenders you know i i, I i'm not i'm not going to throw this lender under the bus but they deserve it well, the first time buying the home me and my wife we were they so for you know closing from the time you put a bid in to the time you close normally takes around like a month um, uh, at the, like 45 days right right at, or at the most from the time that we put our bid in and our lender was like, okay, we need this. We need your, we need your, we, we need a, uh, we need a credit report. We need that. We need all this other information. We need your, 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 your income tax to pass three years. All the, we, we, everything they said we need, we need this by this date. If you don't have it by this date, it's, 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 it's a, it's a wrap. Right. Scrambling to make sure I get all this stuff that they need. Hmm. Come to find out, we come to close and they got nothing ready. How, why did I need to have all this stuff ready at certain per, per points of time just for you guys to just sit on it and do nothing and then scramble the last minute to get all the paperwork ready for closing? What, right. What's that about? Then they, they try to pull the move on you. You get the close. They're like, oh, you know, eh, we know we told you you were going to need X amount of money for the down payment. Looks like you're going to need about 2K more. Why? Why out of nowhere do I need? We're going to closing. Eight hours from now, now you're telling me I need 2K more. Oh, because uh, it's just like, <laughs> what, what, what is that really about? And someone told me that was going to happen, too. So I just so happened, made sure I had additional 2K ready to go, just in case. And just, lo and behold, here you are with that. Hey, we don't get this. We don't know if we can do closing today or not. But, uh, I can't stand it. It that they're all slimy dirtbags that deserve to 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 be. Uh, um, <laughs> they're all slimy dirtbags that deserve. Yeah, yeah, they they they. they, they this it's terrible. But like, I feel for you. It, you will be happy when the whole process is over. You can move into your home and really enjoy your new home. I hey, congrats, congrats, man. Because home ownership is is where it's at, man. I, I always will recommend owning instead of renting. Oh yeah, that's, that's well, not always. Depends. Some depends. Like if you're going to be in the area temporarily for a little while, there's right. no purpose in, in buying. But if you go, no, I, I'm laying roots here. Hey, why not? Why not build something and have some equity in something that you can eventually sell if need be, or pass on to your children. You know, and and keep it within the family. So yeah, congrats, no, man. I, I'm with you, man. That that's the. That's the biggest um, thing for me. It just comes back to the process of it is just so like my wife is burnt out from it. I'm burnt out from it. It's like, man, it's it's fun, but it's um, very nerve wracking to um, go through the um, the process of it. You know, having did so it then it was like this is like 40 houses later after looking at so many of them because mm-hmm. Right now is it's a buying market. Everybody's buying. So 
you know, you got 15 people looking at one house and then all of a sudden it's like right. you got to overbid to uh if you like the house if you, you really want that house you got to overbid for it. Yeah, I know. Exactly. I know what you mean. It, it's it's crazy, but you know, it, it's or, or you get the the foreclosed homes that the the bank put on the market for a price that was like ridiculous super low knowing that it was going to get a lo- bunch of people jumping on it and then next thing you know it's it's like by the time you you realize that you're in a bidding war with someone else over the home and just you're you're you, you get to the point where if you put in another bid it's it's way more than what you think the house is worth yeah here, yeah it's it's uh here i'm going i'm gonna show people like some of the pictures of i'm just making right sure you know yeah, that, that, is, that is true artemis that that means it's a seller's market when when that's the case it's uh, yeah. yeah yeah i'm gonna show here i'm about to share the screen show some pictures of uh i'm not gonna show the actual house because you know you never know who's in here creeping for addresses and stuff mm-hmm. so <laughs> we, we just making sure i'm going through the pictures that don't show no addresses um but yeah, I'm like really excited for one room in particular. All right, so this is the kitchen. You know, nice size kitchen. Um, the appliances and stuff stay. Uh, one thing I know we want to change is um, sooner or later we want to cut this part out and extend mm-hmm. it so it opens the kitchen up more. Yeah, yeah. We want to take that L shape out and just make it like all one piece longer across. And of course, we're painting all this because that green is ugly as hell. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Good that green is ugly as hell. Who? Who thought of that? Oh, I have man. no idea, bro. But yeah, that's that. And then you got that's the that's the living room. Yeah, living room. Um, thinking about carpet and stuff, taking that stuff up and putting hardwood floor. Hardwood floor, and yeah, that's, that's the that's the move. Yeah. And then that's the other side. And then um, yeah, I got yeah. hardwood floors and everywhere but my basement. Yeah, my little, basement is uh, is carpet, but everything yeah. else is hardwood. This 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 wallpaper got <laughs> fake wallpaper. That's the family room. This is nice. Mm, I like nice. That. Yeah, it's really nice right there. And then the other side oh, of it. Right and then, um, oh yeah, wallpaper gotta go. Ew! <laughs> Who <laughs> lives in this house, yo? What grandma, you? man. So oh, my grandma my did. Gosh, yo. Look at that! Look at that! Ugh. <laughs> they really like green. Like, oh, the mint green was real. It's mint that green. favorite color. Yeah. So that, <laughs> it's, like, it's the mint family. I guess it might be the last yep, name. Yep, yep, yep. Peppermint family. <laughs> green. <laughs> the green. Yep, Why am making fun of my favorite? Yep, peppermint green. And then uh nice yeah. little walk-in closet. Yeah, all right. And then um master bathroom. Um bedrooms were huge on both sides. Uh, I actually like this one. The I like the blue. I, I'm a sucker for like blue in general. Uh, we don't. We haven't made the decision on how, what we're going to do about that, but we actually like that one. Uh, of we, course, we this, man. of course, whoever thought of Thanksgiving at the top of your door going all the way around your room. Wait, what? Are those football helmets? I yes, can't... football, baseball, like literally basketball, football, baseball helmets. Like Does that deserves to be just going all the way across the top of the room is kind of crazy. Wow. And then um now nah, this is what I'm excited for. You know what this is. Look at that. Oh basement. yeah, you got a nice little gym in the basement. This is the basement, right? Yeah, this is the basement. That's yeah, basement. There you go. That's, one, that's one side. That's the other side. Hmm. And then they have look, somebody was living in the somebody literally had to sleep in the basement every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, that's the bed and the TV. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it, it what you say, Peyton? We can have I don't know what you're talking we about. We can't have a yeah, sleepover down there. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, man, that is what we're excited for right there, man. That's 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 the that's the spot. But um what? yeah, man. So we normally do um we <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, you know what? If if that refrigerator would fit down there, I would find a way to be like, yo, I gotta make a lot of more Xbox videos so micro could send me the refrigerator. That'd be cool. But um, we usually do Q&A at the end of these. Um, we went real long on this one. So we're going to have an extended one um, on Slow Mo's channel. Um, are we going to do one next week or are we going to just, are we, what, what, what do you think? Hey, is we, can, we can do it next week. We can do it next all week. Right, so it's, going, it's actually, what is that? New Year's Eve? Oh man, we we just doing all the Eves. Huh? Yeah, I know, man. We're going to give you guys. New Year's Eve, yep, man. 
They'll be a little bit more drunker on that one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I, look, I, we, we, let's let's play it by ear because now that I think about, it, I, although where well, we could do I it go, earlier or do anything earlier, in yeah, the yeah, maybe do it. But like, what what would I? What, there's no no one's doing anything on New Year's Eve and, and during well, a pandemic. So you know, maybe well, yeah, we'll, we'll, see. we'll see. Well, mostly I think everybody's off that day. So if you want to go earlier that day, that's probably what we might do. We might just go live earlier that day since everybody's pretty no one's working that day for the most part. True. At least if you at least if you're smart, you're not working. <laughs> Cause yeah. usually your job pays for those two days because of holiday pay. But um yeah, man. So we're going to do an extended Q&A on that day um, because, you know, it's 1130 and it's almost Christmas. And some people like to let their families open up one gift at Christmas time. So I know my kids are already looking at me like, come on, Santa already dropped some stuff off. What's up? But um, yeah, so we'll do that next week. But uh, guys, I truly, Santa truly and, 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 and slow mo says, I truly appreciate all the love and support you guys gave. You know, it's. You know, we hit 53 people in here, you know, really haven't been active on none of our channels. You know, it just comes down to having friends and good places. And that's all you guys have been. So uh, with that being said, slow-mo, tell these fine people where they can find you at and what you got going on on your channel. Yo, you guys can find me on my channel, Slow Mo Backslap. I know I haven't dropped any content in like two weeks, but that will be rectified extremely soon. I expect to start seeing some stuff coming out for me starting this weekend and then moving on into next week. So come check it out. I think I'm probably going to do. I got there's a there, I'm getting caught up on some things, so some of it's going to be my opinion on some stuff that you guys may have already know about, and some of it's going to be th some things that you didn't actually know at all. Me just kind of getting into my my bag with game engines and things like that. So yeah, just come come look out for it. And uh, great show as always, Forte and Chat. Thank you guys for on a Christmas Eve. 53 people watching us. I appreciate that. I, I feel loved. I feel loved, dude. I know. So, Man, you know, you guys have a great uh, Christmas Eve. Enjoy your day tomorrow and, uh, you know, be kind to one another for once. You no, know, nah, man. I, I, that's why I try. I try to be kind to everybody. I'm, I, I'm a very kind soul, as, 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 as I try to tell people. Yeah, they, don't, they don't believe me, but still. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Um, you know, I'm going to shout out, you know, some of the regulars. You know, everybody here, man. Sergeant, Racer, Artemis. Uh, one bad mother, Ryan, Dark Side. It, you guys all rock, you know. Pure Flack Monkey said he was just um he was lurking because he was at he, you know, he's just listening. Hey, you know. we, we all for the lurking. It's all good. Uh, we all for the worker lurking, <laughs> man. You know, DD Lee, you know, Rico. There's a lot of people that just leak you just just lurk, man. You'd be surprised how many people just, you know, put us on in the background and um really just listen. Just, just listen to what's going you know, on. I, listen I, I, listen I to have the I have you to have the voice for that. You know, I, I got you know, I, I have that mellow DJ love talking slow jams tone oh, that you know Lord. really just gets people in the mood, you know. <laughs> in the mood to go find their wife. <laughs> That's the mood that I'm talking about. Go find your wife. <laughs> if, you, if you ain't got no kids at your house and you, and you ain't got no family like that and you got a girl that's sitting next to you man just go take her in another room and tell her you want to you know start christmas the right way you know that's how you do it but um you know, I you just walk in and be like i was listening to the mellow sounds of slow-mo backslap talking about video <laughs> games and i just felt in the mood to do some things yeah <laughs> I, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. I, I love it. I love it. Yo, Jimmy, thanks for the sub. Oh, man. Man. Thanks for the sub. Really appreciate it, man. But um, first of all, um, we will see you guys next week for an episode of DPS Podcast. It'll either be earlier in the week or it'll be at that time. We'll we'll let people know throughout the week. Uh, so we will see you guys before the new year. But, you know, of everything, just have a safe Christmas. Chill out with your families. Be safe. Be mindful. Everything's going on around you. Have fun with your families. And we will see you guys on the next episode of the DPS podcast. And follow all of us on Twitter at gaming underscore forte and at slow mo backslap. Um, I think slow mo. Are you when are you coming back to Twitter? Anytime soon? I'm already back on Twitter. Okay, so I was, slow -mo I, I was back today. So yeah. Okay, I was back on Twitter today too, and I was like, oh, I kind of missed this. 
but then I started seeing dumb posts and I was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of glad yeah, I kind of glad I turned all that stuff off. Didn't miss any of that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, you guys have a great and amazing holiday week. We will see you guys next week. If you need anything, hit us up in the DMs and we hope to see you out there on Xbox Live or whatever your gaming system of preference is. Have a good weekend. Peace. Peace out. <laughs>